Hello there, Internet. Version 2 here with Let's Play New Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. We were told at the end of the last episode to kill each other. I have Monokuma and the Monocubs left. An alarm suddenly rang from my monopad. Not just from mine, the alarm was going off throughout the whole gym, which meant everyone else had received a monopad as well. When I took mine out, a message was displayed on the screen. Ultimate Academy e-handbook. Kaede Akamatsu. Regulations. Students must live at the Ultimate Academy for the remainder of their foreseeable future. Once a murder takes place, all surviving students must participate in a class trial. If the blackened is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. If the blackened is not exposed, all remaining students will be executed. If the Black and survives the class trial, they will graduate and re-enter the outside world. The killing game and class trials will continue until only two surviving students remain. Well, I guess at that point it would just literally be just one person kills the other and then they get out, I guess. <laughs> Nighttime is from 10pm to 8am. The dining hall and gymnasium are off limits at night. So not those two, okay. Violence towards Monokuma, the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy, is strictly prohibited. Actually, the dining hall has an entrance to it from outside, so there'll probably be a case of nighttime. There's only one entrance into the place to confirm whether someone's going through there or not. I've also been told to basically never use the shortcut to get from outside into the dining hall and always go through the main door because you can miss dialogue and scenes and be able to talk to if you go straight into the dining hall. So I'll never take it anyway. Monokuma will never directly commit a murder. Your monopads are very important items. Please do not damage them. When body, The body discovery announcement will play when three or more students discover a body. So they just played it after the first one in the demo for demo reasons. But it is still three or more students discover it. Thing plays. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore the campus at your discretion. Students who violate these rules will be immediately <laughs> exterminated by the exocells. With that thing just running along, like, going nom nom nom. The headmaster may add new regulations to this list at any yeah. time. Gotta be kidding me. Yup! Don't do sh don't break rules or you get killed. I will never. Just like the real world. I will never participate in a killing game. I mean, everyone's already here. Also, we're playing a game, so I mean, you'll all be here. <laughs> like. Chapter 1 My class trial, our class trial. Or our class trial, class trial, my. I know it's Japanese, so it's right to left, but I'm. Okay. <laughs> the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles School Regulations. So these are the rules. Also, apparently this character is just straight up basically meant to be an exact character. He's also called Ryoma from another thing to do with tennis. So it's pretty much the exact same character brought from that. People, there, I, there's been a couple things that people have mentioned um, since. Oh. Like how every single person likes Kikichi despite him seeming like a total dick. But hey... It doesn't all it mean that Kikichi turns around at some point or the fact that he's going to survive for most of this because, like, half of the comments are just talking about how much they love Kikichi. It's not, not at all, like, a clear giveaway that he's a character who makes it a long way through this at all. Not at all. Not at all. It's totally fine. I do not understand why someone would force us to do this. For sick entertainment. Or to prove a point to the world about hope or despair or something. Or to brainwash us with Junko at the ending and that one was still weird. But... <laughs> but the rules are pretty cut and dry. This game doesn't seem like it'll be boring. You gotta be kidding me! It's not the problem! Listen. The fact that we kill each other. Please lower your voice. It is ruining the atmosphere. Oh yeah! Hey hey! What does this six regulation mean? The two people left? Is that that one was? Yeah. The killing game and class trials will continue until only two surviving students remain. Well, they can't just kill each other because then there would be a no class, no only one at the class two trial. surviving students? What would be the reason for that? So it doesn't... Okay. Because they can just kill each That's... other. Perhaps it. Perhaps it's because you couldn't do a trial with just two people. I see, I see. You're so smart, Shuichi. I mean... I figured that was pretty obvious, but Always okay. messing around. <laughs> Killing game, school regulations. Don't screw around! Hell with all of it! Who'd go along with something like that? Um, wild guess. Most of you, considering this is a game, um, that we're playing. 
Kaito raised the monopad as if to smash the device. Unless this game actually just fucked with us and then just no one killed each other the entire time and it just got to the end and like you just play until they die of old age or something. That would be good. I mean, it wouldn't, but it'd be fucking hilarious. Kaito raised the monopad as if to smash the device oh. on the ground. Uh, yeah, don't break it, buddy. That school rules say you can't break it. Hmm. I don't know if the rules specifically say you can't break it. It just asks you to take care of them. I don't know if that... Does that count as a rule? I don't know. If you violate the rules, the exercise will dispose what? of you. I don't care about the rules. No, I'm going to play this messed up game. Okay, break a rule, die. See how, no. see how well it goes for you. This isn't about playing the game. It's too dangerous to disobey him now. That's more so it. <laughs> Forget about him. Just means one less dumbass for the world to deal with. Mew, show like a little consideration for anyone other than yourself. No, okay. Shut up! Who are you calling dumbass? You. I took a deep breath and then shouted with all my might. jeez. Uh, Quit fighting already! Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit, Kaede. Jeez. We shouldn't be fighting amongst ourselves. Right now, we need to work together. Hmm. Honestly, I'd probably be more inspiring if I played a song than gave a speech. Mm -hmm. Choppin's military polonaise would definitely help unite us. Ah, my least favorite sauce. Right? I could get behind some bo um, polonaise and I don't even like meat or tomatoes. Kikichi, stop stealing my jokes. Right. I agree with Kaede too. We must remember who the real enemy is. Master told me that strength must always be aimed in the proper direction. Right. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. You're shaking so much. Even I can't handle these attacks. Oh, yeah, okay. Hey. Yup, yup, yup. Mew masturbates. Surprised? No, of course no one is. Why don't we work together and search for an exit one more time? Hey. We looked all over that uh, wall and there wasn't a single hole. Did you get around to doing that? Please wait. Wait a second. If there's no opening in the wall, how do we get in the walls in the first place? <laughs> hey, we have to get in here somehow. That means there must be an opening somewhere. We just have to find it. Whoever trapped us here wants us to fight each oh, other. Right. So let's show them that we're not going to let that happen. We're not going to fight each other. We're going to work together, okay? Does everyone agree? Um. Why are you quiet? Did I say something wrong? I do not agree. On the contrary. You made your case with such succinct aplomb that we've been rendered speechless. Jeez. I was going to say the same thing, but you beat me to it. You were going to break shit. Like, that was your first thought process. Got it. You're exactly right. We can't give up so easily. Why do you have one arm in the jacket and the other one not? What the fuck, dude? Come on, just, come on! Just finish putting on your clothes. Let's split up and try to find the exit. Ooh. Atua, give us strength. Wow, impressive. I admire your spirit. Her spirit is Atua. Hey. Or mine. You might be referring to mine. Oh, wait! Uh -huh. what, what, what's up? Um... Maybe it not matter much, but gone to find manhole earlier. That's extremely important. That might be a thing. Huh? Let yes. Going to peek in, see big underground passage. Think maybe it exit. But it is probably not so simple. Well, we're gonna check. <laughs> I agree with her. I don't know about how much she screamed about it, but I agree with her. Yes. <laughs> gone to peeking. See big underground passage. Think maybe it exit. <laughs> not. Not that way, Gonta. Uh, no. Not like that, you're talking too far. Either way. The boiler is behind the school building. We must corroborate Gonta's claim at once. Gonta, please lead the way. I can't tell whether the thing on her dress is meant to be a spider web or like shattering glass, but it is one of the two and I can't tell which. Because <laughs> it could be either. See, there are, maybe it's one of those spiders that are like super high on caffeine and, or, and make just the shittest webs. But it might be like a bullet, like shooting through the chest and it's like, ah, she's gonna be shot through the chest and it's a spoiler to the fact that someone shoots her. We are yet to have an execution, oh, no, sorry, no, no execution, sorry, um, a murder where someone has used a gun. To be fair, there's been like one gun ever and that was the one that Nagito had to risk shooting himself in the face with. So fair enough, but still, we're yet to have a gun kill someone. Got it. Okay, everyone, follow Gunta. And everyone goes running off. Except for Shuichi and Rantara. With Gunta leading the way. Oh, and Kaya, obviously. Just when I was about to follow after them. Wow, impressive. <laughs> that was pretty cool back there. Huh? What was? How should I put this? 
Why you changed the mood completely? It seems like everyone looks up to you. Aww. Looks up to me? Come on, that's ridiculous. I just spoke from the heart, is all. So unsure. So it comes naturally to you, <laughs> then. That's even more cool. <laughs> you have what it takes to win. Why are you going to be creepy? Huh? Why do you have to say stuff in that a creepy means... way? I was just thinking, what you said back there would have pissed off whoever's running this. They definitely don't want us holding hands, working I'm together. Sure. We're gonna come for you, Kaede, with everything they've got. I'm a little worried about you. You're just so straightforward. <laughs> Why can you not say stuff that's supportive in a not creepy way? The guy could really stand to be less cryptic. That's true. Perhaps it's a warning. That's what I think, anyway. Being strong willed could get you into a lot of trouble around here. D yeah, Sorry. but. I didn't, mean to, I didn't mean to sound so negative at a time no. like this. It's fine. You only said that because you're worried, aren't you? But... Rentaro is a mystery. He forgot his ultimate talent as well. Is that something you can really forget? I mean, we forgot about... What was that thing called? The ultimate hunt? And we forgot about our ultimate talents. Memory is loose weave in these games, mm -hmm. so fucking... You can forget whatever the fuck anyone wants you to. Well, you're the detective. The other detective forgot they were a detective. Didn't forget the actual uh, ability to be a detective. They just forgot they were a detective. So, you know. Memory wipe didn't work super well there because she still kept the talent. Just couldn't remember what that was that. There's no use thinking about it right now. We should just head to that manhole. Okay. You're right. Onwards we go. Anything else? Any any other new dialogue? Uh, um, we should probably shouldn't oh, be waiting right. outside. All right, okay. But I got enough stuff over and get coins, so I'll be able to buy stuff at some point, surely. How many coins do I even have? Does this say my monopad? Um, uh, 149 up in the top right corner. Awesome. All right. Yes, let us leave this place. Seriously, the presentation of this game is like. Showed up drastically compared to the previous one. It's great. <laughs> I just, it looks so much more than the others. Even, like, even around here, just, like, having the grass around here, like, it adds a lot of, like, it, it's just, like, this is old as shit, but it also adds just a new look to it of just, like, it looks, like, graphically more impressive because of this. And, like, it's still, I mean, it's, it's still not, not, like, the most over-the-top graphically. Like, there is a door here. What is this door? Click, click. Can't enter. Is that the, um, store? Or did we see a thing that said store before? There's this, which we've got to fill in at some point. This fucking polka dot door. I mean, like, it's, yeah, it's not the most graphically intense game. But, like, these things, like, add a lot. Like, having this here adds a lot to the walking around bits here. The way that most of the, um, like, while, while you're talking and while there's a lot of dialogue going on, it's very stylized and it looks cool like that. Okay, the shop. Can I enter the shop yet? Man, all in the school building is more important. I gotta go do that first. Fine. Is that downstairs here? No, just upstairs. All right. Outwards we go. Whee! Running at supersonic speed. No one else is anywhere else, so let us just leave. Where was the manhole? Settle somewhere out here. Oh! The exosols are just here. Well, that's... Concerning. What are they doing? Are there others out here? Still this whole fucking castle over here where you have to do anything with. There's another exosol. Are they... Working on, like... Renovating the school? Like, you're cutting down trees, you're removing rocks. I mean, again, the place is not finished being built, so... Is that what you're doing? Uh, did they say around the back of the school is the boiler? The boiler! The boiler! Yeah! Uh, I'll get to eight, the Ape games eventually. Eventually. I'm also about finding the best way to record Ape 1. Because it doesn't have quick save, and I'm no fucking way in hell am I doing, um, new and tasty. Uh, oh. Back, back, yeah, okay. Because we can run... Absurdly fast, holy shit, Kaede. This is absurdly fast to run. Um, yeah, no way I'm doing new and tasty and doing A1 like just on a console, like that doesn't have quick save, and like that really is a pretty big hindrance in that game. Uh, so I've got to do it on a computer with um, an 
emulator and um, uh, save state. So there's no way I'm doing a sort of see without quick save. But my computers can't run PS1 emulators well. Why is there a weird monument here? So there's palm trees on it and music and a portrait. And we've got plants here covering up everything. I don't think it's an exit, but it bothers me. I'm not gonna check it. Well, that is, that's a pool. That says pool. Well, it probably says pool. It says ooh, and it has that. So it's probably a pool. One person will have to be murdered before we get access to that if we're copying Mega Number 1. Uh, well, I, I found that going this way, and then there's just a big backyard here. Weird that it's just a backyard and it's indoors, but hey. Boiler room! It is the boiler room, it's not the backyard. That looks incredibly man. ominous, the halo of death above us. Looks like we're all here. Where's the oh, man? No. Over there, in grass. Uh, oh, right there, yes. So yeah, what's up with all that? I'm just saying if there's anything else to look at before we look at that. No, okay. And, look, because we can learn more about the characters by talking to them and we can waste more time, let's talk to every character. <laughs> look at all these weeds. This place could definitely use a groundskeeper. Right, Please Keyboy? Stop. Why are you telling me that? Uh, but... Keybo! But you can pull weeds, right, Keyboy? God, you're an awesome. Well, of course! I can do <laughs> all sorts of things just as well as any person! God, it's I hate robophobic. You. Robophobic discrimination. God, I hate Keychi. God, he pisses me off. He's just a cunt! He's just a cunt, you fucking weirdos! <laughs> and again, yes. Oh, everyone loves him, so clearly something will happen with him later on, and he clearly survives a lot. At, at least the people who love Nagito had the ability to not talk about how much they loved Nagito at the beginning to make it clear he'd make it most, most of the way. That being said, it was pretty clear he'd make it most of the way after the first chapter, so... <laughs> we should investigate the manhole right away. If it's an exit, it's only a matter of time until Monokuma comes after us. Oh shit, I didn't mean to, I, I didn't mean to have that there. Fuck off. What's wrong? Now's not the time to be shouting and celebrating. If it really is the exit, That's it's all right. over if he catches us. We need to be quick about this, so let's waste as much time as possible. Hi, Lysandra. The ground opens up before us, as though inviting us downward. Once we are swallowed by darkness, we will be able to return to the light. God, could you stop being an anime villain for like two fucking seconds? Fucking slugs! Quit wasting my time, you kooky bitch. I'll waste your time as much as I fucking want, cause fuck you. Hey, Tenko! Character, I appreciate the most because you hate men like me. That was hidden by grass, it's definitely a. Typical degenerate male, you peep tops love to find things you weren't meant to see. He's helping! Come on! Also, out of all the people here who are men, he's the farther furthest from degenerate. He's pure cinnamon roll. <laughs> Super secret entrance! I'm so excited! Arto is just excited as me. I know because he told me. Yep, okay, okay. Okay. Hi Kaito. Hmm. Manhole was hidden in a place like this, huh? Kaito Momota, luminary of the star. Someone else found it though. Zach, gone to fit. Okay. 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 At what point do we have Kaito and Tenko in a relationship? Just ultimate dude bro combined with person who hates men the most. Why? <laughs> what wrong? Men holding grass over there. I'm talking to everyone, learning about your characters. Wasting time to make this video as long as possible so it looks more impressive. There's a monitor here too. That aside, this is a rather remote location to install a communication mm -hmm. device. It's a pointless expenditure, wouldn't you agree? I mean, this is a place with gigantic fucking robots, so expenditure is not something that matters that much. Down the manhole, huh? Do you think there are creepy creatures down here? What's there to be afraid of? Even if they're as big as cats, Himiko can just blast them away with her magic. Impossible. If I use my magic down there, the entire passage might explode. Your magic is so okay, Tenko. I'll protect you. I will. Pro Though I may be unworthy, I will protect. That's a weird line. I may be unworthy. Mm. I'll leave it to you. Maybe unworthy. That's a weird thing for her to say. Wait. We need to be careful or those monsters might You're appear right. again. Are you feeling down? Do you want some magical power to cheer you up? That is no. drugs. Not dangerous, right? No, it is drugs. Hey, Marky. What's wrong? So you want to escape from here? All right. Calm down. Jeez. Working on it. I did not mean to look at the monitor. I meant to look at 2B over here. Hey, 2B. But... What purpose does this facility serve? One would assume that all this greenery would interfere with the machinery. Does this mean preparations were not completed before we arrived? 
Yeah, they're still working on outside, so yes. Um. So there's even grass out here. Be careful of the roots, everybody. Like a sex thing, because root is sex in Australia. Uh, there's, there really is a manhole in the grass. An important hole that... Yeah, we get it. We get it. Like, this is me saying this. Yeah, sex jokes. We get it, Mew. Like, it's a fucking manhole. My joke was that Tenko should say woman hole instead. She hates men. Like, that was my joke. But yeah, I get it. Also, I'm surprised that you're not the type of person who would shave so push from there. Okay. This manhole cover looks heavy. Can we even lift Leave it? it to me. Do, do you even lift, Angie? Kibo placed his hands on the manhole cover, and with all his strength, he... My apologies. It won't even budge. <laughs> huh? He has actual hair, because his hair like actually went frizzled just then. Like, it's not like just more metal. My robot's not even strong enough to Listen move closely. it. My physical strength is approximate to that of a strong senior citizen. Then why didn't you- Piece of shit! Then why didn't you offer to help? <laughs> the professor did not want to repeat of the tragedy that occurred during trial production. Oh. Uh... Fair. Fair. Gonta. Yay, Gonta! Should be able to- Yeah, you lifted it before to peek inside. Gonta placed on his- Oh, uh, and- Yeah! See Daisy. So I can't tell if they've just fucked up his face and accidentally drew it smaller, or if they drew his face smaller to make the rest of his body look so much huger by comparison. But that, even for Gunter, the proportions there, that looks bizarre. Is his neck really tall here too? I don't know. Okay. I know. The latest patch update maladapted his stat alignment. That. Himiko, you didn't loosen oh, it. You're amazing, Himiko. So, like, Tenko and Himiko are a thing, right? Or at least Tenko has a thing for Himiko. What should Gonta do with cover now? Toss it like a frisbee, because that'd be fucking Please cool. Leave it somewhere else. Be careful not to hit anyone with it. To be a boring. Um, <laughs> actually, Gonta no can do that. Very rude to litter. It, Gonta, come on. But no, it is supposed to the manhole cover. Gonta begrudgingly tossed it aside. It's not littering. The manhole cover moved five yards before it hit the ground. <laughs> well, wonderful strength. You could likely crush a child's skull with it. Dude! God damn it. It is gonna be the least surprising thing in the world when you kill someone. Don't I never do that? It'll be the mo what? Like, I, I can't tell whether it, it's either, because it's either gonna be he will be killed because that will be the twist, or he's gonna kill someone because everything about him says he's gonna kill someone. Like, fuck. Like, everyone else in terms of who's gonna be murdered and who's gonna be, um, murderers and everything, I can't judge with any of the other characters. I'm putting my money down on Lysandroth being a killer. I know, like, they're setting it up and it's so blatantly obvious that he won't be, but still, though, I'm putting my money on Lysandroth being a killer because, fuck, every single line that he says is just, ugh. Gentlemen or not, no one would do that. But... Gondra is so much more reliable than some bean counter. Why? Why do you have to be a cunt to Kibo? I can count many things, not just beans. Oh, Kibo. While everyone else was talking, I slowly peeked into the manhole. It was too dark inside to see clearly, but I could feel cold, moist air drifting up. Excellent. We're really going in there? Where el what else are we Got gonna it. do? Murder each other? Fuck that. I'm sure it's fine. At the very least, we definitely won't die down there. That- how do you know I'll that? I'll protect you! I'll protect most of you, but the generate males are on their own. Going to protect you. <laughs> Pro going to protect men, Poe. It's true. Why are Monokuma- Where are the Monokuma and Monokubs? I see. Right here. Yes. I was certain they would likely show up at some point and crush us like rotten gnats. We're not breaking any rules, so they shouldn't. <laughs> they probably haven't noticed yet. I see. There's a monitor in this room. Them not showing up is probably the biggest thing that it's just like, it might be a trap. Once we had climbed down the ladder, we looked around and saw an open area. So there's a thing that just says exit and barrels of poison. Biggest <laughs> trap in the world. It's more spacious than I thought it'd be. Just echoing. What is it? That is correct. An old industrial passageway, I suspect. Perhaps factories once existed here. Ah. 
And this is all that's left of hey. them. What are we looking at? The sign that says fucking exit. <laughs> Apparently the end of the tunnel is the exit. Um. And you know, I think it's weird that someone went out of their way to write exit. <laughs> Don't piss yourself in fear. Your natural scent is bad. Why do you have to insult people too? God, you and Kikichi, just go away. Just like go away and come back when you're not annoying. <laughs> hey. Go on ahead. No point standing around here. That's... Yeah. No. no need to worry. Mm. Looks a bit dangerous, but we're all ultimates yeah, here. That's right. As long as we work together, everything will work out just fine. Uh, okay. It's a bit egotistical. Just be like, we're ultimates. We can do anything. The whole point of you being ultimates is that you're good at well, a sir. thing. So, that's exactly what I was going to say. We're really on the same wavelength, Kaede. Give me a hug. Oh, oh, you just have a crush on her. No. Um, no. <laughs> Degenerate males. I, 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 I actually think you might be onto something there. Kaede's decently sized, so that would happen. Kaito definitely has a crush on Kaede. There's no way that's not a thing. <laughs> Hi, Tumi. That is troubling. It's not been used for some time. Must be quite dangerous. But everyone wishes to proceed, but I'll do my best to support that decision. Because I will do anything for everyone. <laughs> hey, robot. Hmm. Quite dusty. Prolonged exposure to this polluted air may be detrimental to one's huh? health. But you don't even breathe That's... air, right? That is... Well, it's true, I do not breathe. I also do not like polluted air any more than you do. He... Kibo's whole thing is that he's meant to be as much like a normal person as possible. Okay. Lead the I, no, phobic. I don't I I don't know if it's robophobic. It, you kinda said that you kinda gave that implication yeah. impression. Even more Oh god I god I hate you. Like the pe the person that we have the most people in the comments saying how much they love them is the one character that we have in this game who's literally a racist. Yep. It's dark here. If we're gonna keep going, we need a light. Then shouldn't you use your magic? Like Lumos or something. It'll be okay. We should be fine with that. Okay. I need to say, okay. 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 Himiko's bothering me more and more as the game goes on just because it's just like, well, we're barely into it and there's already In been like event. 15 excuses for why she isn't using her magic. Like Kikuchi yodeled earlier. His echoes remind me of tales told in the mountain villages. I believe the voices echoing off the mountains are applied from Yama Biko. Oh. No, uh, no, it just it just bounces off the walls. It just it's. I mean, like your stories about like what cultures believe is cool and everything, and I respect those cultures. But I mean, like it's just bouncing off the walls too. Even if this is a trap, all we need to do is fight and struggle our way out of it. But it'll be dangerous, of course. But it's better than running away here. Better to die. <laughs> What's that? Better, it's better the burno than the fade away. If something I'll happens, you. I'll protect the girls by using all the general males as human shields. You seriously need a second bit. And having a crush on another girl is not because. a second bit. This is an extension of your first. If we're going, let's hurry up already. It'll be a pain if Monokuma and his cubs appear. I can't tell whether Maki or 2B is more like Kyoko or not, but they're both up there at the moment. Yoohoo! Alright, yeah, okay, you're right. doing that again. Must be pretty big hey, then. Hey. Uh, I um, want to play hide and seek in here. <laughs> I am the master of height because you're small. You got me. Uh, okay, okay, okay. It's a lie. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a lie. I, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I get it. You lie about stuff. What's the matter? No. no. <laughs> you don't got to hold. Kaito, this is the worst flirting ever. Hey! D don't uh, screw around. No, yeah, we're not flirting. He well. is. Badly. Kaito, your flirting is almost as bad as Papinski's. Hey. Almost. Papinski's is way more desperate. It was exit. Go on to Clyde, tell everyone. God to protect you. Is everyone not talking about how much they love Gonza? I, I mean, this. there was a lot of that, so. We gotta keep trying. Nothing's gonna change if we don't try. Yeah, but I'm talking to people and it gives me levels up and I get to learn about your characters and bitch about, like, the two of them that I don't okay. like. I'm sure of it. You seem really unsure of it. You remind me of Chiaki and just like, I think. <laughs> We're gonna escape from the underground passage. We should be careful of dangerous creatures. Does everyone have their protect gear? Hey now. What? Protect no. gear? Something worse might show up. What? Okay. Okay. I feel like you're making references that I don't understand. I want a piggyback ride. 
Alright, alright. And you're just hiding over in the corner. Where you belong. You're too weak, Kubo. Let me remodel you to make you the strongest robot ever. Hey! You caring about that someone else? Said. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay. 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 You've managed to go the demo and the prologue without being a creep and hitting on someone in a creepy way. And now we've crossed that line. Cool. <laughs> cool. 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 Only a matter of time before you cross the line of being a creep to someone as opposed to just talking about sex about yourself all the time. There'll be an exit at the end of this, and once we reach it, this will all be over. I just know it. I clung fiercely to that belief as we stepped into the tunnel. You're... What? The death road of despair? What the fuck? Everyone <laughs> works together to escape. What the fuck is happening? Cheer? Controls and jump. Okay. Press that button to jump. Okay. You're going to plenty of traps set up to prevent you from escaping. If you hit a trap or fall off a ledge, that person will be eliminated and the students will switch to one of the remaining students. If everyone is eliminated, game over, man. Okay. Not that it matters. Reaching the exit. What? What is happening? What is happening? What is this game? What is this game? When did this become Paper Mario? Look at the animations. Okay. 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 The controls are deliberately fucked. Okay. Let go. <laughs> like it's... Or like... Let go. Oh. Oh. We're pushing it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What? Everyone, be careful. Who's here? Okay. Wait, oh, oh, right. The yeah. jump is the. Is on this my is side. The me. jump is the circle button. Hi. Whee! Hi. Whee! Hi. Oh! Hi. <laughs> okay. Okay, this game's just being a dick. Okay. Oh, they're bombs! I thought they might be coins. Oh! Kaido, Kaido's going. Okay. Fuck! <laughs> okay. I shall go. Okay. Run! So Run! Oh, okay. The Hitting the bombs in the mid-air still. Okay. Hey! Okay. Okay. Go to do his best. Someone else knocked down the bombs. Ah, oh, killed me. Damn it! Go! Okay. Go, Tenko! Go, Tenko! Go! Yeah! Um... <laughs> this... Okay. It's deliberately fucked. It's deliberately just incredibly fucked. Hey! Hey! Damn it. I couldn't do it! Game over. <laughs> Okay, okay. The controls are s like just fucked, so you can't do it. What? So I'm shooting you're all alive. You were just knocked out. <laughs> as I slowly opened my eyes, it dawned on me that I somehow lost consciousness. Oh, so as you die in there, you're brought back here? Oh. Are you feeling all right? Are you all right? I'm fine, but what about everyone else? Uh, everyone's sitting on the ground. Everyone sat in stunned silence. A sobering sadness filled the air. Hi, Monokuma! Mm -hmm. This is quite the pity party you sad sacks are throwing to yourselves. Hi, Monokuma! Oh, and the Monocubs, of course. <laughs> Hi, everyone! Oh. One of them didn't appear. Wow, you all look exhausted. Poor things. I feel sorry oh. for you. Jeez, this place is filthy. It's murder on my cashmere skin. Hey. Hey! Oh, you are you are here. I guess you're just off to the side now that I couldn't see you. Why don't you respond to him, Monodam? It'll liven things up a little, you know. <laughs> so you guys crawled out of your holes. I guess you finally noticed what we're up to. Noticed? I've known for a while that you guys would botch whatever escape plan you had. Huh? Been watching. There was a monitor in the boiler room. Um, and this room, I believe. Yeah, I also kind of pretty much knew too. What are you saying? That's a lie. Then? If you knew all along, then this was just You're a the trap. Worst of the worst. Then there was no exit. You tricked oh, us. Hurry. No, there's an exit. So. I think you guys managed to reach it if you all work together. Oh, yeah, there's nothing you 16 ultimates can't accomplish if you work together. <laughs> My girl voice sucks. Should actually go to like speech therapist and plan that to be bad. It doesn't matter. And if first you don't succeed, Ching. give up. <laughs> <laughs> Try as many times as you want until you accept reality. Ka! So long, 
Get well. Bye. Yeah, I guess my nose guy's just off to the side far enough. You know what? My switch is covering that corner of the screen. Maybe, I, maybe my nose was there, and I was gonna say. <laughs> so we can escape if we work Fucking hard enough. Moron. They'll be freaking. Uh, they'd be freaking out if we could actually reach Jeez. it. Jeez. That's probably why they let us try. They wanted us to try the underground passage so we'd learn that escape is impossible. You got me. Instead of blocking off every exit completely, they leave that little bit of hope for despair. Actually, yeah. That's just rotten. You might be right, but. But we can't just give up. Yeah. Right, you guys? I mean, we've only failed once, you know? We can't give up this early, okay. right? Isn't getting out of here impossible? That's not true. It's not. It may take one more try or a lot more tries, but it's not impossible. Forget about Monokuma. It doesn't matter what he I'll says to us. I don't want to lose to him, and I don't want any of you to lose either. I refuse to lose to someone who would do these terrible things you're to right. us. Goodness, you're like ends game Makoto already, mm -hmm. Kaede. Let's all work hard to escape this place together. And once we get out of here and make it to the what? outside world, why don't we all stay friends? Um, Friends? Yeah. After going through an experience like this, I think we'll all be the best of friends. What? Except for Kikichi. It's not every day you get to meet other ultimates. So what do you say? That might not be yeah. bad. It's a great idea. Yeah. Then <laughs> then we've all the more reason to escape this place, no matter what. Ah, uh, I get it. Get it. Uh, okay, okay. There's the whole thing about just like, oh, she's the feminist character, so she's gross, which, ugh. And also just the references to the, like, ten-year-old baby. <laughs> Everyone! <laughs> Isn't it premature to say what we'll do after we escape? Assumptions are all but useless. It's a hope-building thing. Whoa! Why am I not surprised that a robot can't read the air? God, go, go away! Just leave! Just leave! Just go away! Go! That's robophobic. Robots can read the air. Thanks to innovations in Pluton detecting technology. I... He's a robot, so he takes everything literally. Get it? It's it doesn't matter if Monokuma says it's impossible, we'll show him what we can do. Dude, the veins on your body are freaking the fuck out. That's right. That is, that is not healthy. As someone who has varicose veins, but only in their feet. Dude, dude, you want to get that You're out. right. It seems like a pain, but I guess I'll yeah. try. Let's work together. We messed up last time, but I'm sure it'll go well this time. It'll you do okay. not believe that. I'm sure we'll be fine. A divine winds will blow us through and lift us to victory. Oh, oh, that's the that's the loop like the the loop with the, like the tails on the end. Wonderful. That's an Akami reference to an episode that may not be out by now. Ah, humanity is truly wonderful. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, cool. I, I'm just waiting for you to turn around and kill someone. They're much stronger than ever. We step into the tunnel once more. Start escape. Let's go. Wee! The controls are so fucked. <laughs> They're so fucked. This is so fun. Push the gate open. Okay. So jump over this one. So how do we? Everyone, be careful. That killed four people. Damn it! Fine. How do you can do it? Oh! Oh! Do it. Oh! The gate was still. Huh? Let's go. I couldn't do it. Going to do it. Sacrifice one person to jump through. Wee! Run! Uh -huh. Run like an apple. Yeah. Like a madman. Go for your mouth. Go. Fuck. <laughs> Other people can die if they're hit by traps even when you're not controlling them. Like, this is so deliberately stacked. It's hilarious. Pain throughout my body. I got blown up. I mean, you burnt to. I lost consciousness again. Why? I was looking forward to a happy ending. Get it? Cause sex thing. Don't worry. <laughs> We're just getting started. I. Hmm? It'll be a piece <laughs> of cake. Gonna, guns are gonna escape. Become friends with everyone. Gentlemen, never give up. This time we'll reach the exit. How many times are they gonna make us do this? It was no good. Even so, we refused to surrender. We kept telling ourselves that this time we'll escape. But we failed each time. With every attempt, we repeated those words this time over and over again. But in the end, we couldn't do it. I thought we'd be able to escape as long as we never gave up. But it made no difference in the end. <sighs> failed again. Damn. Seems like... I can't go on. That's wrong. We can't give up. This time we'll... Now. 
Yeah, because this is a character sprite that they give to someone who's a good person. <laughs> huh? I don't like that. You're free to keep trying on your own, but forcing us to join you is basically torture. I don't agree with you. Uh, torture? That's so mean. You know what really hurts? Being denied the right to give up in an impossible situation. You won't let us give up, and no matter what we say, you have the moral high ground. That doesn't sound like torture to you? Shit. When you say we can't give up, you're not inspiring us. You're strong arming us. That's wrong. Heartbreaking <laughs> person you hate has good point. Hey, degenerate male. Quit being so selfish. The others feel the same huh? way too. Uh, everyone? My spirit is nearly broken. This hardship gnaws at me. Given the circumstance, the most logical course of action would be to give up. Yeah, I feel like Hisashi Mitsui in the second half of a basketball game. Don't get the reference, sorry. I knew this wasn't possible from the start. This bullshit is a waste of my precious time and energy. I can't let you all rely on my magic. Besides, I don't have enough MP left. You have not used any. I'm just relieved that no one was seriously injured. Praise be, Tua Tua. Considering there was bombs and fire, that's kind of weird, but yeah. Wait! We couldn't. We know can Just give up. Are you really okay with not getting out of this place? The, see, you're just you're just trying to tell everyone to give up because you get off on it. Because you're a fucking weirdo. We shouldn't have to push ourselves. Let's just find another way out, okay? Huh? Another way. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's yeah. He just wanted us to give up on this because he wants us to kill each other. Ah. You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> There's no way we could do the killing <laughs> game. <laughs> want some bubble gum? You can blow pretty big bubbles with it. Uh -huh. that... <laughs> Looks like he wants his head to back. Tanko, please do. Jeez. <laughs> we fell apart pretty quick for a group that decided to be friends and work together. Because of Kikichi, because he wants us to give up, and he's doing it in a way to make us fight. Because he wants people to kill each other. Because he's a sick person. Sorry. This is my fault. I'm so sorry. Uh, um. Okay, I did. What? Are, what are you apologizing for? It's not your fault at all. Hmm. Really? I think it's Kaede's fault. What? <laughs> Damn it, Marky. She inspired us with hope. This is an announcement. From the from the ultimate academy for gifted juveniles. It is now nighttime. So you've been doing this the entire it's day. It's Betty Bye time. Whether you've been good or naughty, it's time to go tingle and go, Betty Bye. Be careful. He is all that remains of a once powerful. Yoga. Sorry, it's been a bit, so I just had to have a drink. But my lamb and cordial. Because I've got a better layer and I'll have it sitting next to me. Here. <laughs> Bedtime or sign. Bye. Bye, everyone. Oh. Heaven of Almost Hell was the name of this song. Nighttime, huh? No sense pushing our luck. We should probably just get a fresh start huh? tomorrow. What do you think? We've been assigned a room in the dormitory. Perhaps we should rest there. We're gonna rest there? What's wrong? Rooms aren't that bad. Much better than my prison cell, that's for sure. Makes me nervous to think we'll be staying the night at this creepy school. If you're exhausted at this point, every time you try, the death road of despair is gonna be... Like, less likely to okay. do it, so. Yeah, see, yeah, he just wants us to kill each other. Since the dining hall opens at 8am, how about we meet there at that right. time? I think that'll work. I'm okay with that. Decided. Can we go to our rooms already? We should get as much strength as we can and regain our strength. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can go pee by myself in the middle of the night. What? I, I, okay. She's so... Look how much of a crush she has on her. So much that she's drooling and it's kind of weird oh. and creepy. Guys, as a warning, How should I put this? we shouldn't let our guards down. We'll be easy targets. You mean? Because of the killing Please game? Wait. I see no, I, no need to worry about something as illogical as murder taking place here. It's the way for a person to get out. It's. I don't think it's illogical to think that it's a possibility. I know, I know. Just a warning. And everyone leaves. So for these two, so I'm, I'm shocked it's not, um, Rentaro. Hi, Kaito. I mean... Why did you apologize before? You didn't do anything wrong, um... you know? When we tried to escape, I felt like we were united behind a common goal. 
Last I put everyone's lives at risk. That unity is gone Seriously? now. Seriously? Come on. That's just the stupid end result. It's not like you wanted it to go that way. I mean, considering the possible consequences of your actions is part of, like, doing things. It, don't apologize for something that's not your fault. It'll just make you feel bad. You know... Everyone just decided to blame you and give up. I'm gonna give them a piece of my mind later. I mean, everyone did stop blaming Kaede because of Kakechi. <sighs> Let's just get some sleep for now. See you tomorrow. I mean, also Kaede has a crush on Kaede, so like, it's clear that he just wants to, you know, burn us, but... So he's trying to make us feel better, but still. Bye. Thank you, Kaito. What about you? I'm sticking behind. Uh, um... Kaede? I don't think you need to worry about what Kakechi said. You weren't pressuring us. At least, I don't think so. Uh, Thanks, Shuichi. Uh, but I'm exhausted. Let's just go back to our rooms you're right. See you tomorrow. Bye, Shuichi. I was gonna try it on my own! No. No. With one life, yet yeah, not happening. Never happening. It's the whole point. Oh. Gunter's still here. What's so, up? What's the matter? You're not going back to the dorms? Um, Gone to worry about manhole. Think it okay with cover gone? What if someone fall in? Get hurt real bad. Gone to gentlemen. Gonta can no ignore that. But Karumi tell Gonta leave cover off. Mm. Gonta know not what to do. Um Everyone knows it's here, so I'm sure we'll all be uh, all we'll all be careful. Don't worry about right. it. Right. Maybe you're right. Maybe Gonta just keep eye on it. Thank you, Kaede. Gonta, go back to the room now. Yeah. Good night. Good night, Gonta. Gonta may look scary, but he's actually a very kind, innocent soul. He's a cinnamon roll. He's pure cinnamon roll, and everyone loves him. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna suck when either he's murdered or kills someone. That's it. Murdered, yeah. When he's murdered or kills someone, yes. I wasn't sure if I said the same thing twice or not. Wait, look at the fast running. Gotta get to bed, gotta get to bed. Ah! Super fast running. Okay. So we're still got a bunch of people who are yet to go to bed. I'm gonna assume no one's inside. I'd be very out of the way to get extra dialogue. Beep. Oh, look at me running sideways super fast. I'm talented. Hi, Tube. Are Are you feeling alright? Please rest and try to regain as much strength as you can. What about you? Escaping this place will prove to be quite difficult. Best not to fret over it. Alright, okay. You just hang out here. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Pardon me. Like... Seeing it like this, the school really is eerie. It's an interesting place in the day, but having to stay the night is too much. Considering it's like still very under construction. Damn, look at the night sky. Big night sky. Also, like, why is there castle walls there? And an actual castle there. That's the weird shit. Up, 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 there, up, up. There we go. Almost With got it. My magic. If you really can't fall asleep, I'll put you to sleep with a, a magic hammer. That's just knocking me Rest unconscious. In peace. That would be an eternal sleep. Rest in peace. No one else? Alright. Well, I'm gonna assume no one else is in any other area because that'd be very out of the way for extra dialogue. So I'm just heading into the dormitory to sleep in the protagonist room. Well, I'm assuming the two other dudes won't be in there at the same time this time around. No, they are not. Can I sleep with you, Shuichi? I'm scared. Don't have any business with him right now. Okay. They'll have the same dialogue for everyone, so. To bed we go! It, to... I forget I can use the left stick when I'm in the solid places to look around and not have to just rely on the camera spinning fast. And it's already all cut up from the damage. Like, what the fuck? So this is my room. Not too shabby. I like the red black aesthetic of it. Is, is it a key to this room? Bingo! Oh, it's just you. You probably don't have anything worth stealing in here. We didn't feel like doing it. Oh, yeah! No, it's not for me to give you a special hit. Yeah, that's true. I don't want to ask you. You guys think I'm going to kill him easily. Shut up, I don't want to hear it. Let's go, cheat it's turning more into surfer dude bro as time goes on. <laughs> this place is the worst. I just want to go home. The shower is even in a different spot. Okay. Hey, what do we got? The closet. Huh? This is the closet. Huh? 
What are, inside were the uniforms that matched the ones I was wearing. Lots of uniforms. Did they prepare all these? They repaired everything just to keep us trapped here, but why? Uh, there we go, bam. Let's knock everything out of the way. Anything else? I can't check out the bedroom. So. Boom! A couple coins! Anything else? No? Okay. I can't go to the bathroom? Nope! Alright, just bed we go! I'm tired. As soon as my body hit the bed, my body immediately froze. After everything that had happened. I forgot just how physically and mentally exhausted I was. I thought we would achieve our goal as long as we didn't give up. But I had always been- that had always been my mentality whenever I practiced the piano. But maybe playing piano is easier. Because I'm blessed with that talent. <laughs> with Chopin's prelude playing in my head, I fell into a deep sleep. Hey, Monokuma Theatre! Waves! Alright, alright then! New students of the Ultimate Academy! Congratulations! The weeds here have grown thick with joy, as if celebrating your entrance into this school. Seeing, you anxio seeing your anxious eyes shine with murderous intent makes me oh so happy. If you ever feel lost, don't be shy. Talk to your friends or a teacher. Let's all get along. And let's do lots of killing, too. I pray for the physical and mental well-being of this new killing school semester. I mean, I pray for the well-being of you students. Yes, that will do. Look at this fucking torture dungeon. Good fucking god. That is more vicious than the usual Monokuma theatres. Fucking Christ. Ding dong, bang bong. Mm. Rise and shine, shine, shine or sign. This is an announcement. Sup, hi everyone. Say <laughs> hello. Here I am, bitches. Time to wake up and face the blood. So, hey. What is dead this Stop morning? It. If I suddenly see a dead body, I'll pick again. Have fun. We will not have fun killing each other. Right now. So I'm trying to like work out what their each drinks they have, like, because Monarchist has a rum and coke, Monophony's got a like a strawberry milkshake. I forget Monotaro, the red one, has got like an energy drink. Then Monosuke's got a lemon thing, and Monodam, yeah, yeah, that's that is a melted rainbow paddle ball. <laughs> um, so that's what that is. It's all some terrible dream. Huh. Wouldn't that be nice? I don't have time to joke around. I said I'd meet the others in the dining hall. Everyone must be waiting. I need to get to the dining hall ASAP. Everyone just woke up. You're assuming everyone else woke up, like, quicker and better than you did. Okay, that's just not going this time. There we go. I thought I knocked away the table last time, but I guess I did not. All right, onwards we go. To the dining hall to meet the fresh new day. And outwards we go. Look, look at those transitions. So slick. Anyone here? Yes. Hi, Exercells once again. Is Kurumi over here again? No. I even forget your name. Shurigane. Morning, Samugi. Good morning, Gaede. What's the matter? Not feeling well? I woke up a bunch of times last night, and each time I realized this wa this all wasn't a dream. But even so, I still woke up this morning hoping it was a dream. And in the end, it still wasn't. Yeah, same here. <laughs> we gotta face this reality. We need to fight against this reality. And Sorry. Sorry for the weird conversations early in the morning. I bet everyone's waiting. Yeah, apparently skipping straight into there, you can miss dialogue. So, I've been told to never do that. Again, these videos are going to be as long as humanly fucking possible. Speaking of, it's been like roughly the hour mark. I'm just going to save it because I'm paranoid as shit. Save. So I've got to get used to the whole idea of just trying to work out when a murder might happen and then saving it before then so I can do the video thing properly. But I normally the lead up to when a murder happens is usually a decent giveaway. Like there's normally a somewhat of a build up before it, but. Uh, anyone else in any of the corridors? No. Just to mix up. Shuichi. Hey, Shuichi. Okay. Good morning. Huh? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at the I... dining hall? I was just on my way there. Uh, hey. Hey, What's the matter? 
What? No. It's nothing. The others are probably waiting for us. We should go. Alright then. He seems preoccupied with something. I can ask him later. I need to go. Alright. To the dining hall! All the way over to the dining hall. Man, how fast running. Can we go in the store yet? Fucking. Mm, let me buy shit. Assholes. I want to spend money on gasha machines. Hi, everyone. Is that everyone? I can't count that quickly. Everyone's already here. All of us have arrived. I'm glad. It looks as though there were no of victims. Course. Of course. Cause. Basta wolf. Had to. Huh? What do you mean? He looks really bummed out after everyone started blaming you yesterday. God, go away Wait. already. What are you doing? So all mean. You guys are so mean. Yeah, okay. Can, like, all the other people here... Like, I'm talking about the cast in the game. Can they not, like, see, bl like, how blatantly he's just, like, trying to make everyone be pissed? Like, can they not see how blatantly obvious it is? She tried her best to encourage everyone, and you saw losers got mad at her anyway. It was you who did it. Surely everyone can see That's through. enough. What's the point of bringing hey, that up again? Degenerate male. Didn't you blame Kahede first? Now it's my fault. Why are you guys ganging up on me? Because you're a cunt. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah, they're real tears. I'm sure. You're too noisy. Cut it Please. out. It's true. Everyone blames Kaede without taking any responsibility themselves. Oh, no. Everyone was probably just dying. There's no Let's excuse. Run. It's okay. It doesn't bother me. Bye. Stop trying to defend me at all times, Kaito. I'm not going to sleep with you. It's just... <laughs> I should have been more considerate of everyone's sorry. feelings. I was too focused on the tunnel, so I'm sorry. I see. If you're okay with it, then so Thank am I. Goodness. Now everything's settled. God, I hate hey! You. you did blame her it's first, didn't you? That was a lie. You know, one of those lies to make us more united or whatever. No, you just... You're just a dick. You just want people to be dicks to each other. <laughs> oh, did you know half my lies are actually told with good intentions? I, no, because you just want people to be angry. What are you saying? Now that sounds oh like a lie. Let's just forget about it and discuss something what? else. Let's let's all think of ways to get out of here. At least Mew has the decent decency to be quiet a fair bit when she's like a dick. But Kikichi just constantly fucking talks. Before you do that, I have an announcement. Sup? Stop it. Can't suddenly show up. It's too much stress for oh, my heart. Sorry. I didn't mean to not surprise you. So you did What's mean wrong? to surprise us. Your announcement. <laughs> well, now. It's not terribly important, but it's easy to stay alive by being an obvious goody two shoes, right? Being thrust into a killing game doesn't mean you'll be able to kill someone easily. So I figured I'd ease you guys into the killing game by giving you motivation to kill. What? Of course, the I motives. In short, a motive. That ought to add some mystery to the proceedings. Even if a killer's exposed, they could whip up a sob story to deceive everyone. Incomprehensible. Your logic's impossible to understand. Well, then. I will now announce the first motive. Make sure you record this moment for posterity. Family's all been threatened to be killed. Now then. The special motive I prepared mm. is called the First Blood Perk. First blood, okay. What does first blood do in Call of Duty? Is it a thing in Call of Duty? I don't know. Wow! For the first murder that occurs, no class trial will be held! Can you believe it? What the fuck? Are you kidding me? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the hell? What the fuck? Okay! Okay then! What? That means the first one to kill someone will get to graduate! No strings attached! I mean, the whole point is so that when one person's dead, the rest of the people are way more willing to kill someone because it's already happened once, and that's a hell of a fucking way to try and make the first one happen. What the fuck? What the fuck? Someone turn around and stab Kikichi in the throat about? right now. Please. Just like, don't even wait for like a next uh, line of dialogue. <laughs> no class trial will Let be held. Explain. I'm sorry that I made the class trial seem really more important than it really is. So for the first murder, I've decided not to hold a class trial at all. Psycho -pop. Please just relax, calm down and kill. After all, the first one's free. 
We just gotta kill someone to get at it. No. No, Mew. No. Unless you're gonna stab Kikichi. In which case, both of you will be gone. Don't. That's all? What's that supposed to mean? Please just calm you gotta be down. Me. That's blood perk to make it sound like some kind of game show bonus. But it is a game. <laughs> you say that, but I bet you're really happy, huh? No. There's no way I'm happy. Do you think this is fun for us? I don't care whether it's fun for you. Huh? <laughs> no, that's wrong. Do you really think I'd kill someone just to get out? That's wrong. In your dreams. We're not gonna lose to you. We promised each other we'd escape <laughs> from this place. <laughs> Spare me your false bravado. You should be focusing on how you plan to survive. You just gotta kill someone, right? Always messing around. Bastard. The prisoner's dilemma. How very clever of you, Monokuma. I mean, it's not exactly the prisoner's dilemma, but it is a variation of it. Huh? That's true. We all know it's better to cooperate rather than to betray each other, right? But if you don't cooperate, you receive some benefit that no one else so gets. Unsure. It's an incentive to betray the group to give yourself an advantage. With that in the back of all our minds, we're less likely to cooperate. That's Monokuma's plan. To make a non-cooperative game that, thank that tanks Kaede's plan to get us to cooperate. You're really good at working out the motives of these fuckers. Like, you're able to see through people the best out of everyone here. Huh? I mean, you saw through Kaede at the beginning too, just being like... Like, uh, by the way, you being like... The brave one? Yeah, there's a target on your back. You want to be careful. Uh, um... And if a murder were to occur, it'd, it'd be even more likely that we'd cooperate. Oh, it's likely he created this perk for that sole to purpose. Tell you the truth. But you can't stand all this tension in the air, right? So it's better to just kill. Please wait. It seems you're quite serious about forcing us to participate in this killing game. Death Mech chased us at the beginning. Oh, right. You know, you know. You, you don't re you don't remember when the pets chased us. <laughs> what exactly is your objective? Shut up! His objective doesn't matter. I'm through letting him have his way. Don't, dude, don't be Josuke. Come on, no. Josuke, we tried. This happened in the first game. There was explosions. Hell yeah! I'm gonna defend it. My heart's racing. It's time for the exercise. We won't let you lay a hand on Daddy. We want Daddy to smile every day. You bastards better pay attention. That's what happens when you mess with us. What? God, Jesus, on my necklace. What are you guys letting us do? Please don't. Shut Run, Kaido. At that moment, we heard menacing mechanical noises. The exercise charged. A sound of crushing metal echoed throughout the dining hall. And then, a final gasp. You're stopping on, Monokuma? What? Huh? Father! I'm confused! Ah! Daddy got turned into a pile of scrap metal! It's Monodom's fault! Somehow! <laughs> Aww. Um, two, What's going geez. on? I'm not sure what's going on, but Monokuma's in pieces. He got just what he deserved. Do not celebrate just yet. I'm certain he has a spare that will appear momentarily. There's no spare? Don't trivialize life like that. Haven't you bought this exact shit before? My father was still alive. He used to tell us cubs that we must cherish life because we're like snowflakes, unique in every way. If only one existed, then does this mean Monokuma's dead? Poor daddy! Until we bury him with full honors. We'll cook him low and slow to lock in the flavor. In that case, well, all right, we can dodge his character and potatoes, too. Ah. Maybe add some leftover curry, too. You know, the sweet kind. My favorite. Dessert curry, yeah. You want an extra large side of rice, too? That's right. Now that we're the new headmasters, we're gonna eat more so we can get stronger. So long, farewell. <laughs> I can't tell how much the game's fucking with us if Monokuma's actually just gone for the rest of it, or if Monokuma's just gonna appear later to fuck with us. I can't tell which way we're gonna be fucked with, but we're definitely gonna be fucked with in one way or another. Anyway. Every everything's a complete net mess right now, but if there's no final boss, <laughs> that means his killing game's cancelled. Cancelled? Uh, no. I don't think so. Monokuma's just a robot. There has to be someone. Don't worry. 
Don't be such a worry ward. Everything's definitely over now. Like, you clearly don't believe this because, obviously, so why are you saying this? With the Mastermind Gord, considering the game is pretty so much impossible. Means... Which means we win! <laughs> Angie, just well. like, think like in anything. Tenko Yuzu! <laughs> We just wait here for the shuttle bus to pick us up, or from what en entrance or exit? That's wrong. We don't know that yet. Everyone's still not. Oh my god, I hate you so huh? much. I didn't mean well. it like that. Or is there still something you would have us do, Kaede? Trashy skank. Just fucking don't think it's over for like, based on like just that. Also, the other kids, even in Monica is gone, they said they're the new headmaster. Oh. Right already. Quiet. We know it's impossible. I, Sorry. Not, not what. You, okay. Looks like we're done here. Whatever, Lee. Clearly not. After Kikichi finished talking, we all went our separate ways. I decided to return to my room. I don't know why, but once I went inside my room, I just started crying uncontrollably. Uh. Why? The intercom in my room rang. Oh no, I'm sad and upset and punching everyone. But um. I quickly wiped my tears and opened the door. Hey, Shuichi. Are you okay? Yeah. Buster Wolf! Even though it said, are you alright there? <laughs> um, what do you mean? I'm not sad, if that's what I'm you're wondering. It's not your fault. Huh? I knew it. The underground passage was a trap. It was a trap to get us to think we could work together, then crush our hopes. You might be right. I but... know that, but I just wanted to escape with everyone. You know? But it's all right now. Everything is over, um... right? Kaede, I know how you feel. I believe in you. Huh? You believe is in me? Right? There's something I have to tell you. Will you come to the library with me? Okay. What have you found in the library, buddy? You were quiet before, what's up? Um... What do you want to talk about? Alright, to- uh, alright, I guess we're just going to the library. Where Monokuma will show up to be like, Ah, you're still going! And out we go. So what is everyone else doing now that it's just like, oh. There are people everywhere. See? See these giant death robots? Yeah, that means it's not over, everyone. Um, oh, <laughs> What's the matter? What's up? Bugs are. There's no bugs here after see. all. Going to. Going to trying to understand right. why. And of course, the ultimate entomologist but... would notice that. Going to have no idea, but it's okay. <laughs> going to no I give up. Going to. Yeah. Going to continue searching for bugs. Yeah. Bye, going to. You continue your search. I guess here, I guess I'll see you. Hi, what's up? Look at you two, out for a walk together, huh? Why don't you pick up some... Like, not everything is sex, and I'm saying that here. Huh? We don't need those. You must be real fucking skanks to let dudes unload inside ya. Okay. Uh, okay, oh, yeah. Geez. What kind of girl do you think I am? Please forgive me. Trying to light the mood a little. Your jokes are trying to make other people feel bad. Uh, um... Let's ignore her. We have to focus. Bye, Mir. <laughs> so I have more dialogue now that you're sad. <laughs> oh, I missed what that dialogue was. I thought it was the same. <laughs> a hat wearing perv and a fucking skank. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm leaving. God damn it. Problem is I can't even tell if like those two Kokichi and Mew like I on the go. <laughs> Who would have expected our foe to die in such a way? What a disappointing ending. Well, it means the situation is over. I can go home and spend time with I sister. See. Capital and sister, no like my sister, just spend time with sister. I bet she's worried about you. It's probably true of everyone's sister. family, including mine. Sister is terribly lonely. I need to get back to her. So okay. 
Okay, no, you're, not gonna, you're just gonna ignore the creepy way that he's saying the term sister. All right, there's a robot here. There you are. Hey, robot. Sup? Thud. Thud. Hi, robot. Hi there, Kaito. Sup? You're like Carmen and you're standing next to the thing with the drill. Just like I said. What's just Keep like you said? Up. Sometimes you gotta be a real little reckless to make your dreams a reality. Said the dude who forged his way into becoming a fucking yeah. astronaut. What are you mm. talking about? What do you mean? It's thanks to me we defeated Monokuma, right? Monokuma? Okay. Alright! I still don't know how to get out of here, but the number one threat uh, is gone now. To be honest, what you did was really dangerous. Okay. I was a little nervous. Just a little. <laughs> but we know the universe is watching. That bear got the cosmic justice he deserved. The universe is always on the side of those who push the limits and never give up. You're literally just calm enough. I, I Leave guess. It to me. Monokuma's gone now, thanks to me. All we gotta do is escape. Okay. I mean, it's clearly not gonna be that simple, but okay. You believe what you wanna believe. Believe in the me that plays. Are you coming back to that underground huh? passageway? No. You, know. you don't think this is over, do you? Your attitude earlier gave it away. The bears said they were the new headmasters. I figured you'd take on that passageway with her since you two seem so That's... chummy. I'm not trying to take anyone's side. Totally. Sure, whatever. You guys are free to do whatever you want. Just leave the rest of us out of it. I knew it. She's kind of unpleasant, isn't she? Only now. Before she was fine. And she's gone. Hi there, Shuragane. I even hate the one your first name, I swear to God. Hey! It's the shuttle bus. Uh, uh, I don't think a bus is gonna come. The whole place is surrounded by a I caged see. wall. Oh, yeah. Actually. It's just that it's customary to come back from a con by bus. This is not a con. I, I travel by bus even summer and winter. The bus driver sings sea shanties for me. What fucking bus do you catch? I was saddled with debt, but now I'm the proud owner of my very own home. What? Actually. It's just plain unimportant. Since the wall's so big, I wonder how the bus would even get in. That's what I just said. Okay. 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 Girl, I can't I can't tell whether you're just actually that dumb or whether you are just constantly high. But one of those two things is a thing. I can't tell which. The bus driver sings sea shanties to me and now I can afford a house. Okay. A tanko hanging out with your crush here. Um... What you doing, Tenko? I was hoping I could learn magic from Himiko! I definitely want to incorporate magic into Neo Aikido! Tell me, Hi Himiko, what sort of training what do you usually do? Mean. I told you I get tired talking about it. You're tired talking about everything! I'll protect you! I'll massage your back so you won't get tired! The biggest crush. Oh, yeah! I wouldn't mind if you rested your head on my lap either. Okay, calm down, Tenko. Jesus. Gross. Stop it. That's weird. Ah, oh, rejected. <laughs> You know, if you didn't drool while asking it, Tenko, you'd probably be fine. Hi, Himiko. Hey, you guys. Say hey from this conversation. We're not done talking yet, are we? Okay. Okay. Tenko. Like. No. Okay. <laughs> um, where's the library? I didn't forget. Where the fuck's the library? Where's the library? Is it upstairs? I don't even remember. I'm not seeing it here. Warehouse. Uh, up upstairs. Or is there... No, downstairs wasn't a library. I don't think it was. Was it? I don't even remember. Remember. We should go to the library. Is it downstairs? Was that one of the big rooms downstairs? I don't even remember. I know there's the game room down there. Oh, you're over here. Didn't even notice you on the map. Hey, Rizarro. What's wrong? Hey there, you two. Um, Something wrong? Nothing's hey. wrong. So, Rantaro, you said there's someone behind all this, right? That Monokuma is just a puppet. That's true. I did say that, but you know what? It's just a hunch. I don't know if I believe you that you it's just that it's just a hunch. How should I put this? I'm I sure wouldn't complain if that's how it all turned out though. Uh. That it was a puppet master? Bye, Rantaro. I feel like you get off on being mysterious. Dude's probably fucking lying about not remembering his talent to a bed. Mm. Don't mind me. 
Triple Twinkie Twinks. Anyone down here? No. And this is the library. Hey. I did remember. I didn't. I didn't at all. I tried to go upstairs first. I'm a fucking liar. Um, like Lord. Like before, the empty library was filled with scented musty old books. Uh, um. Before I say anything else, I want you to promise me you'll keep this secret. You're totally taking myself. Yeah. Sure. What's up? Like a great detective, he began explaining an exact detail. Remember. This library has books scattered everywhere. Even books lying on top of the bookcases. But take a look at this bookcase. It's the only one in the library with no books on top. Uh. Yeah. Hmm. And also, you can see that the floor in front of the bookcase has noticeable markings. Mm -hmm. <gasps> it's the exit from the anime. I'm. I noticed the markings the first time I came here with you. This morning, I came back to investigate. That's when I found this. He walked over to the bookcase, placed his hand between the gap. Oh! Boom! Whoa! It moved. It swings open. Look, there's a door behind it. A monokuma door. A door. Black and white door. Big fucking door! Fucking early to find a secret room, Jesus. This is what you wanted to show me. That's why I wanted you to come here with me. There's something unique about this door. Take a closer look. Yeah, it's Monokuma. It's not until chapter 3 for Kyogre to find a secret room. Fuck, you're doing well, buddy. The pattern on the hidden door is black and white. Just like Monokuma. You think it's connected to Monokuma somehow? I think it might. But I don't know anything for sure. This door has a card reader lock, so I can't open it. Is that huh? all right? But the very fact this door is here makes me consider a certain possibility. There is a chance one of us here is cooperating with Monokuma. To get into there? Huh? Oh, geez. What do you mean hey. by that? It's only a hypothesis right now, but consider this. Why would there be a hidden door here? If it was solely for Monokuma's use, he wouldn't need to hide it. He could just have the monocubs or the exercise protector and keep it in plain sight. Mm. However, I think I can think of one reason that the door would be hidden. For one of us to sneak in and use it without anyone else noticing. Um. Maybe, but I can't believe someone in our group could be working with Monokuma. That's true. I can't believe it either. That's why, to confirm my suspicions, I decided to, to set a little trap on this card reader. I sprinkled some dust inside the card reader so I could tell if it was used. Good God, you talking about how you're an amateur detective? Fuck. Of course, I was careful to make sure the dust wouldn't come loose accidentally. And I don't think the person swiping their card would notice or care about a little um. dust, especially in this dusty library. So if we see dust on the floor, it means one of us used this door, well. right? As I mentioned before, this is just our hypothesis. I have no evidence yet. But, but if it is true, then even if Monokuma is gone, this isn't going to end, Kaede. Uh, um... Anyway, that's what I had to tell you. Of course, I don't expect you to believe me. I don't know, the evidence right in front of us does suggest that something's going on. I mean, it does immediately cause suspicion on you for being able to find this door, but, detective, you can just find it just by investigating. So, I could go either way. I'm... I just wanted to tell you, no mm. matter what. Then... Yeah. <laughs> Let's head back. We shouldn't stay here for long. And close that as we leave. After putting the moving bookcase back into place, we cautiously left the library. Okay, we've got a thing happening now. Back into the incredibly Is that dark. All right? Please don't tell anyone what I showed you. I don't want to cause yeah. a panic. That's fair. And also, if we tell everyone, hey, one of us is working with Monokuma, then that person will hide instantly, so. No, yeah, listen to him. <laughs> Having made our promise, we return to our own rooms. Bang, bong. Is that a full day already? Just quick. Oh! It's just you! <laughs> just one? The other monocubs aren't here to bury Monokuma? Or are they doing that? What Shuichi told me earlier is disturbing. One of us is cooperating with Monokuma. It's just so hard to believe. But Shuichi trusts me. That's why he told me, right? Then maybe I should believe it. Decisions, decisions. Monokuma Theater! The 
torture chamber. We're already out of material, like a closing time in a sushi restaurant. When a series lasts for several seasons, eventually it'll run out of material. My memory has been awful lately. I wonder if it's because of how long the series has been going. Wait, what season are we on again? What material have we shown so far? Jeez, I don't remember. Maybe it's because they've released so many at this point. Oh well. Anyway, we need new material for the Monokuma Theatre. Please send us your manuscripts along with a $1,000 application fee. We want to get your work for free. You entry selected, you'll receive a $100 gift card. What a generous prize. Don't miss this opportunity. Send your applications today. It's the second Monokuma Theatre we've seen. We're just like, we've done so many of these. And they already didn't make sense. Hi again. <laughs> it's already morning. I didn't sleep well last night. Yesterday's conversation is still on my mind. I wonder what everyone else is doing. They already yeah. gathered at the dining hall. I guess I'll go for now. Smack everything! Yeah! Free coins! Couple, but we got like one out of all of that. I need to go back to that classroom and just knock everything out of the way there. If you can just get coins that easily, then there's actually a way to grind coins. Totally not at all something that like you could consider doing in between sessions or anything. Uh, Ryama Hoshi. Uh, morning, oh. Ryama. We're way past morning huh? by this point. The morning announcement just it's to play though. Story. Prison mornings were a lot earlier. We started at huh? dawn. Ah, uh, prison, no. right. In the day, we'd do our work and eat at the same time. At night, all we could do was sleep. Inside those prison walls, I lived a frighteningly disciplined I life. See. I suppose that sounds sort of healthy, I guess. Working and eating at the same time? No, okay, I Don't encourage that type of culture. Healthy body, healthy mind? Not cool. That's a bitter irony. Remember, was a famous tennis player before he became a prisoner. Did I make him feel bad? Yeah. A little. Ah, oh, well, I'm sure it's fine. Sure! It's fine. <laughs> Got ya! Hi, robots. Doing your thing again. Hi. All right. Good morning. Um, Hi. Maybe. I slept great last night. This place is alright when there's nothing to worry about. How far? Okay, okay. You and Mew are the fucking same god. That's wrong. What are you talking about? <laughs> what were you imagining just now? I just want to know how far you've gone exploring this place together. That's all. No, that is not what you were because... saying. It's none of your business. Uh... What's with the attitude? Because you're a dick. I thought you said we were friends, Kaedate, not you. Stop it. Yeah, well, you're lying, too. You know how to stand your ground, don't you? You're right, I was lying. After all, we're just strangers to one another. That's why I don't really care what you and Shuichi do. Even friends don't share everything huh? with each other. Because? I'm more nervous around friends who share too much than strangers, really. Cool, just try and turn everyone against each other. Because you're a cunt! Because you're a dick! Because you suck and you're awful. Oh, hey. They're actually, like, working in different spots. They're actually, like, trying to fix the place up. Hi, Angie. Who wants to place a bet that you mentioned um, God in this conversation? Says so. There it is. I see, I see. Well, I mean, are you finally ready to make an offering? You're not draining my blood, Angie. Sorry. I still have anemia. Huh? huh? That's a bummer. Major bummer. This is a problem, though. I need an offering for someone to thank Atua for smiting Monokuma. Make sure you eat a big breakfast, okay? Hope your anemia clears up soon. Doesn't clear up. Why is your number one character trait wanting to drain people's blood? And how does it somehow make you not creepy and just a weirdo? <laughs> hey, Kibo. Um, you short. Uh, I'm short. Fine, well, what you? Morning, Kibs. Do you like Kibs? I should just call you Kibo. <laughs> Everyone appear appears to have been gathered in the dining see. hall already. For Looks now. like it. I'm thinking about heading over there as well, but... Um, Keiichi will be there. I... I was just wondering when someone is going to come rescue us. It's been almost a full day since Wanakuma was dispatched, but our situation hasn't changed. <laughs> I'm just speculating, but what if only Wanakuma knew about this place? What if this location is not on any map? What if no one's coming to rescue us? That is a possibility. Huh? Which means... Maybe we'll just be forgotten. And no one will ever find Jeez. us again. Don't say that. We should be trying to escape, not waiting for someone to That's rescue right. us. I apologize. I was overthinking things. As I thought. It would be impossible to discreetly construct a facility such as this in the first place. Plus, if the professor knew I was missing, he would not rest until he found me. 
one of the professors working with them then? Because how would the professor not know you're missing? With his technology, he would rescue us, no matter where on earth this place is. Yeah. Hopefully. No one else around. All right. I was wondering what the fuck was happening, but it's the dude who's the robot that's standing on top of this thing working on the building. Hey, Tenko. Trying to sleep with Himiko still? I mean, probably. Hey. Morning, Tenko. Hey! Please don't try and, like, chop me in the face first thing in the morning. Sorry. Good morning. Um... What was up? I haven't done much training since I got here, so I did some light exercise in the gym. I'm still full of energy, so I'm shouting to uh, burn it off. By the way. All right. Exercise makes me hungry, so I'm going to head to the dining hall. See ya. <laughs> Bye, Himiko. No, that's Tenko. Himiko's the girl that she has a crush on. What we got up here? Hi, Shuragane. Zamugi. Zamugi. Can I enter? No, that's... I was thinking the shop was there. One day I'll remember your first name. Huh? What's Seems wrong? Like... My nails are all messed up. It probably happened when we came here, and now I can't take good care of them. The nails? I understand. You're surprised that plain old me cares about my nails, no. right? Not really. When you say nails, you mean nail art, right? I've I done see. it before. Nails would plain get in the way when you're playing piano, yeah. huh? Oh yeah, little. I see. As a pianist, you're pretty strict about stuff like this, um. I guess. You're exaggerating, but yeah. Sometimes I gotta hold back on some stuff. Just ask Tenko. She has to cut down her nails. Not true. Not true. You can have the long nails and be careful being a lesbian. Just, you know, have to take precaution. I guess the middle of a killing game isn't the time to be worrying about nails. I want to hurry and go home. Bye. You going home? Alright. <laughs> no one else around. Can I enter the store yet or is it dining hall? God. You're never going to let me enter this fucking store, are you? Imagine if they did that! Imagine if they introduced the whole coin mechanic for a store there and you just never entered it and the coins meant nothing for the entire game. Oh, that'd be great. I'm just demanding the game fuck with me more at this point, aren't I? <laughs> I want the game to- I want the game to just be like, fuck you. We already had that with the Death Road of Despair, I want more of it. Despite all my worrying, everyone in the dining hall was in a good mood! Even though Kukichi was in. That's right. Yeah, seriously. I slept well last night. Also, I went to the bathroom and brushed my teeth by myself. Yay! That's amazing! You did all that with magic? You're so amazing, Himiko. You're trying to... Come off a bit strong there, Tenko. Thanks, b 2 a 2 Yes, God again. Surely he helped you in his own mysterious, miraculous ways. This Atua seems to act a secret a lot. Is watching over us. Atua smells of danger. What? When's someone coming to get 100%. us? 100%. Whoever does, I assume they will come today. There's no need to worry. Basing on what? Ken is just like, guys are idiots. No, no. It's nothing. I think a norm would listen to some guy who can't even remember his own talent, yes. right? Never what do you mind. mean? It's nothing. This is quite the happy ending. Mm. Is this really how this ends? Without thinking, I had blurted that out loud, and now everyone was staring oh. at me. I mean, it just seems too easy. I think it'll end like this. I wonder, do you wish the killing game would have continued? She's just being careful! And again, the Cubs said they were the new headmasters. What makes you think this is over? That's not true. Everyone else is now letting their hope get to them and think things too easily, and Kaede is actually being Fucking supported. bitch! Just, like, think. Like, at all. I don't know what you're so worried about. Monokuma's dead. There's no way the killing game can continue, you know. What about the five other ones? Hey, it's Monokuma! Who's a ghost now, I guess. That's my cue to appear, Kuma! Uh. What's up? Oh. Monokuma! You you're still alive? Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys blind or something, Kuma? I ain't Monokuma, Kuma. Is this meant to be a... Moogle thing, said a Koopo. After dying in a tragic car accident, I've been reborn as a yokai. Call me Jibakuma, Kuma. Oh, you're oh, you're the one of the main things from Yokai Watch. Just straight up, actually, just being. I'm a yokai. I'm Jibanyan. You're just straight up Jibanyan. Okay. What is it? Jibakuma. I'm the headmaster of the academy, Kuma. You might feel uncomfortable at first, but eventually you'll get used to it. 
Did I slip up? No dare you fucking fraud, go find another car to run you over, and this time stay dead. Terrible. Such a low level cosplay, I can bear to look. Bear. Bear. Ah. Ah. From an anthropological point of view. Have you mistaken ghosts for yokai? Yokai are mythological creatures, first created back when humanity lives closely with nature. Back then, they were in the embodiments of unexplainable natural wow, phenomena. Wow, wow. As a buzz kills. I was all set for, for adventure before you started yelling at me. That's why I hate teenagers. I'd have cash for days if I was dealing with the under 10 crowd. Cash for days. Also, I don't make a dang run for game where everyone's under the age of 10. And you more fun time. Aww. It's loud in here. What's all the ruckus about? Father, who, who we thought was dead, is actually alive! Yeah, we're the cameras to heaven, man. The result on the death is cheap, true. Yokai did it. Yokai! That bit's what already over. It ain't over yet. I think we're still talking about spooky stuff. <laughs> you should have told us we're still alive. We've been making stew with your body. <laughs> Wait, barbecue must stand here. Then there's bodies in the stew pie. Which barbecue is the real uh, they're both mm -hmm. real. I'm a fucking robot. I said there's only one of each of us. That way you need like snowflake. Yeah. There's only one of each of you guys, but I've got loads of spares. <laughs> Why are you gonna have spares and we don't? Can't always do Of course you don't get to have spares. If you really think anyone in this day and age will tolerate the death is cheap trope? <laughs> what is that? Yeah. Mean? Now we know this school has a machine somewhere that can make a whole lot of pops to make sure everyone knows that the game's not over. Just activate that machine and you can have as many spare pops as you want. Sorry. This is an emotional reunion, so you all gotta take your licks. Father, your love is smothering us. Yeah. Oh yeah. No more. No more. There is a lot of time spent on the My shenanigans little... of the Monocubs and Monokuma. Like a lot. Like more than Monami. Somehow. <laughs> I see you guys I just get so excited until I like, can't take it anymore. You guys are so cute, guys. I just want to see what your parents look like. You're meant to be the dad. It was me. Wait, I'm your parents. Um. Can't react to this. I'm in too much shock. Does this mean the killing game's gonna continue? The continue game is gonna continue. Pain. Yeah, that. Yeah, pain. <laughs> You, don't, you know you don't have you know you can say sentences without insulting people, right? No, I guess actually I don't know if she can. <laughs> what do you mean it's gonna continue? You you are the most excited. <laughs> say, 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 everyone all the other characters stop falling for his bullshit being angry at Kaide. He's clearly the one who wants this to continue. God, you're all idiots. You gotta be kidding me! It's definitely Is not right? okay. That's how it's gonna be. But we want to end this. Let's see. We have to take down Monokuma and the person behind him. I predicted there would be a spare, but I did not expect it to be built within the academy. I do not mind. Either way, I assumed this would happen. This development was not and surprising. Thing. Is that so? Then did you also assume this next exciting development? What? Oh, another this? Now then, I'm pleased to announce an additional motive. Motive number an two. Additional motive? Yeah. A it is now in effect. If a murder does not occur by night time, two days from now, then every student participating in this killing game will die! That's... What is with these motives? What the... You just really want this to start. <laughs> Your first motive was not effective enough, so it's just like, fuck it, do it or I kill you. Just fucking someone kill someone. God, you were you were going full pelt with the motives from like second one. Mold to shreds by countless monokumas from the rumored monokuma making machine. 
So not even access cells, just actual so Monokuma is tearing you to shreds. you want to end up as pink smears, you might want to take this game seriously. <laughs> well, now someone has to fucking die at some point. We're now in the fun house from chapter four of the second game. Just in the first oh. chapter of this one. What? Time limit. Everyone will die. Yes. That's not fair. Why'd you guys even come to this school if you're not gonna do the killing game? What do you mean? We were kidnapped, brought here. Fuck you. Shut up! You're the one that forced us to come here. Um... Quick question, father. What do you mean by countless monokumas? I thought we were um, up once time right now. Let's do this! Let the exiles do their thing this no, time. No. But I'd rather not go through that again. I feel bad if you guys tired yourselves out. Go through it again? Yeah, what are you but... talking about? But if we let the exercise get popular, we can have a real cash cow on our hands, you know? The merchandising rights alone would make us richer than sultans. To who? Ah, to be sultans. young again. Very tempting, but... Just mad. I won't let you kids ruin your futures. You need to have your own kids and ruin their futures. Yes. You love us so oh, much. Geez. Just shut up with the kids. Oh. Get on with the plot. You're still here? Of course, we never left. Right. Why are you doing this? How much suffering do you want to put mm -hmm. us through? I see. Well, if you're suffering, you'll better hurry up and start the killing game. <laughs> then you can say bye-bye to the suffering. You bastard! To tell you the truth. Don't you realize that working together is pointless? It is not gonna off already. You know what you gotta do, <laughs> don't you? You're surrounded by strangers, neither allies nor friends. No need to worry about well. them. Plus, you got the first blood perk. That means the first kill is free. Oh, the killing game is gory, huh? I'm starting to feel a little Hell crazy. yeah! Hell yeah! And if they don't play the... Then they get... <coughs> if it's gratuitous over the top gore, I might be able to stomach that. <laughs> the fuck? Forget the killing game, then. It's better for you to all just die together. There's a love for death. Shut up! Notice how, like... Like... How they all have the lights around the kids sometimes when they get happy? Kikichi's the only person with that. Actually, no, I think Mew had that at one point, so. You're all fucked. Shut up and get the fuck back. <laughs> what do you guys decide next is all up to you. Do whatever you want. You can all die working together, or you can survive on your own. It's your call. <laughs> Bye, Monokuma. <laughs> Father's in the zone. He's getting irritated until he's settled, oh, right? Yeah. Let's toss back some honey to sell our private cam You might have them get some pure organic honey. Put some honey on there! In the cup of collab! This character is gonna kill my throat. So long, <laughs> farewell! Cause like, I'm not doing the actual deep voice that I can do consistently. I'm doing some weird fucking bastardized version. And now I have to sing while I'm doing it. Ugh. After Monokuma left, all that remained was utter fear and despair. Okay, okay, every- I just want everyone to look at all the characters. See the various states of upset or pissed off or nervousness on everyone. Except for Kikuchi! <sighs> Um, what are we gonna do? Nightmare in two days will be here in an instant. And there's gotta be something we can do. I can't die. The world needs my genius. And everyone else, not I considering like others. Okay. Hey, you're pretending to be sad now. Die? Everyone's gonna die? Is dying the only As choice? Atua says so. Atua will welcome you with open arms. You seem chill with everyone dying. Mm. It's after we die, Jeez. right? Can't panic about something like this. I'll. Do something about well, it. Then. Did you have a course of action in mind? Or are you someone who's all talk and no action? It's done the thing, fuck I you. Don't understand. I didn't expect anything from you in the first you place. Forgive. I don't I don't know if Maki expects anything of anyone. <laughs> he just doesn't seem to like people. <laughs> we gotta fight um... back. If we strike them with some sneak attacks, we might have a chance of winning. Unlimited monikers. No. What kind of Mikita moves even involve sneak don't attacks? I wanna help everyone. Got to use body, keep Not everyone cool. safe. You're going to go against those machines barehanded? Isn't that too <laughs> reckless? We have to do it. If we don't, we'll but die. 
We still have plenty of time to calculate all possible oh, options. No time to be indecisive. We are being urged to make a decision. To die fighting or die from the Stop it. Why do both choices involve Ow. dying? I don't want to die yet. Shit. I'm going to make it no matter what. Yeah, okay. Um, no matter what. Run. You can't do that though. Even if you make a mistake, you can't. Then oh. you'll accept huh? oh, God. I want you because. to go away so badly. Will you accept the blame if I die? I have people who will be sad if I die, oh. you know. What do you even mean? What the fuck do you even mean, <laughs> Yukichi? I'm lying. No one will be sad if I die. I don't know if the same can be said for so everyone else. Means... I'm gonna take no. off now. Good. Um... Leave. I'm gonna back to my room and just think things over. I'll learn. Cool. Finally, you fucked off. The fuck's going on? <laughs> Alone in room. What do you mean by that? You invite me to come kill you? Mir, please. Um, <laughs> it would get both of you out of this I, instantly. I, Not that I'd try to claim that perk for myself. I'm way too classy to kill someone. <laughs> Talking to you, it's exhausting. I'm gonna go to my room and rest. God, it's like they know who the most annoying characters are, so they made them fuck Guys? off the earliest. You better not be doing anything shady, okay? There's no need to worry, is there? No one's gonna kill anyone, right? Mm. If someone is going to kill, they should just go for the robot. No what the way. fuck? It's even worse, because it's me. Mm. So everyone feels that killing is wrong. But why is that? Because... Because it's Badong! By Sandra? Huh? Fucking... Of course I know it to be against the law, but laws are simply rules decided upon. By people. I... <sighs> Like, I can't tell whether you're going to be, like, the first to die or whether the game's actually just going to play it 100% straight and have you kill someone. Because, seriously, dude. Seriously. Like, you are the world's biggest red flag in every way. You have a Nazi armband. I'm, okay, I know not every armband is a Nazi one, but it's red. It's on your fucking arm. Like, dude, come on. There's space removed from those rules. Therefore, we no need to follow. That's enough! Even kids are killing is bad. It's common sense. However, even if it is to survive, we are as guinea pigs upon a lab table. We cannot be picky about our means of survival. What? <laughs> Only wish to observe the beauty of humanity and witness the depths of its sins. Good God, just... God, if I had the time or be bothered for it, I would literally Photoshop in a red flag every single time you're on screen. You have no need to fear me. I'll only kill all of you. Like the shadiest people are leaving. Males in the soft side says are pretty soft themselves, so I don't think you'll do anything. Really? Have you seen how many of the fucking red flags he has? Jeez. He's not wrong, though. We want to stay alive. Standing around grumbling is not going to change well. anything. As things are, we're not all going to um, escape together. We're going to die together. Are you guys okay with that? I think some of them would be. Also, you could just continue trying that death road until the time limit kills you. And you leave. All right. Stop it. We haven't decided on I'm our plan already. yet. You can decide huh? that on your own. You don't know? Your half our speeches won't work on us anymore. You know that, right? Then... So just come up with a plan for yourself. Uh... Alright, all right, all right. everyone's yeah, just then. slowly leaving. I'm just gonna pray to Atua, alright? <laughs> no multiple dialogue, just... Like... I'm good. I'm just gonna think by myself a little bit. Be a shame I won't be able to hide all my special art commissions before I die. Hide all of them? Are they still online? <laughs> Or well, that special pillowcase I bought. What should I do? I'm gonna go have sex with my pillow. Bye. Uh, yeah, everyone's just wrong. slowly leaving. You can't listen to Monokuma. <laughs> Why everyone scatter? Fine then. Or you just do whatever you want. It's exactly what Monokuma wants us to do. So what else is part of his plan? If my mem is my memory part of it too? If it is, then why? Can I even trust huh? myself? Antara, what's wrong? What's wrong, he says. How should I put this? I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but... 
Does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? So you, do you remember the first thing? Because it's the only time that we've heard it was in that first one. And Kaede didn't remember that first one before, like, the magical girl transformation sequence. Do, do you remember that? Um. What's that? I've what's never that? heard of it. Never what about mind. it? Huh? I get it. Excuse me. What do you no, mean, Rentaro? No. It's nothing really. I'm just a bit confused, is all. Mm, actually. Everyone's a little anxious, anxious about not being able to remember how they got here, right? In my case, not only am I dealing with that, I also can't remember my talents. But you can remember the ultimate hunt thing that was brought up before. I'm sorry. So I guess I'm asking you to bear with me if I say things that don't make sense sometimes. <laughs> Bye, Rentaro. <laughs> Without looking, Rantara just waved his hand and left. In the end, I couldn't stop everyone from leaving the dining hall. Why won't anything go right? I just want to escape with everyone. So why is everything going wrong? I know the answer. It's Monokuma's fault. The one who's controlling him and planned this entire killing game. It's all their fault. Hi, Gonta. Maybe... Fight Monokuma. The only choice we have. Got to work hard for everyone. Yeah! I will harness the power of Nia Aikido for the sake of it's all no girls. Use. And Gonta. I understand how you feel, but it's no use. There's no way for us to win what? in a fight. Gonta no can do He's anything coming. else. Is it wise to charge into battle without a strategy? Okay. That's true. I get where Gonta's coming from, but we should calm down and <sighs> think this through. Okay. Sorry, Gonta. Are there caves? Hmm. That ultimate hunt that Rentara mentioned. What do you suppose it is? Any no. theories, Kaede? First time I've heard of it. I mean, it's not, but I... that's. It sounds so violent. It sounds like it involves us somehow. Well. I mean, like, it's the term ultimate hunt, because it's like the way the word hunt is there, it could mean like six different types of hunt. For <laughs> now. Disregard that. Nobody has any clue what it could mean, so it is illogical to continue thinking about it. Our more pressing concern is the current predicament we find yeah. ourselves in. Yeah. Hi, Amiko. Too tired to leave the room. It's time for my last oh, resort. It's magic. Magic powder. I'm just gonna get fucking high, so no. I don't have to think about this anymore. What are you saying? I put it on sweets. It's really tasty. It's sweet and salty. I know the I secret think. recipe. You mean that? Okay. Hi, Tanko. <laughs> There's no way I can fight machines with my bare hands, so I came up with an idea. We take Monokuma or a Monoka hostage by kidnap- no, bare-napping oh. them. Is that something a martial artist should do, suggest? You. Although I walk the path of a martial artist, I would do anything to save my fellow females. While there's life, there's hope. But once you're dead, that's it. Master taught me that. Is that alright? Monokuma has spares. He wouldn't be much of a hostage, right? And the Monokums don't seem to have any loyalty to one another. They wouldn't make hmm. good hostages either. They'd probably just squish both you okay. and the hostage. Oh. I'll no. think of another way then. You should know that it's pointless to challenge them to fight, right, Tenko? Why don't we think of a strategy together? Yes. I'm not too great at thinking, but I'll twist my brain into knots for your sake. Yeah, thinking. Hi, okay, Kaito. I mean... Don't do anything stupid, all right? No. I'll do something about this yet. I'll just do something yeah. stupid. I'll definitely do something. Oh, he doesn't seem too reliable. All talk. Very, very, very little action. Um. What do you think we should do? Being seemingly by far the smartest person troubling. here. Maybe more than Shuichi even. It seems we still must find a clue before we can begin cooperating with one another. But even if we manage to do that, we are still uh. trapped here. So all we can do is wait around for the killing game to start. I do not agree. I do not think that would start the killing game. People cannot kill each other so easily, especially when they harbor no malice. Even when one life is in danger, it is quite difficult to follow through on the act itself. Sounds like someone who has some level of experience with this. Um. What should we I... do? We need huh? to move. Shuichi slowly approached me, of his, as if wary of his surroundings, and said in a hushed well, voice, yes. This morning, before I came to the dining hall, I noticed dust from the card reader on the floor. Oh! Huh? Oh! Okay. Okay. Yes. So when he said he needed, to, we needed to move, he was probably hinting at something. 
that's the case then. Can I help you in any way? Okay. Of course, Kaede. Well, we should go. Shouldn't be talking in the open like this. What are you whispering about? Nothing. We're not whispering. We're just gonna check on something. And that thing you want to check is a secret. All I can say is, I haven't given up. I'll show you guys that we can escape from this place. You can count on it. If that's how it is, then I'll believe in you. Yay! It's not like me to give up anyway. I've always believed that my wishes can come true if I just work hard enough. All right. Shall we go? Is that all right? All right. All right. Outwards we go. Quick, library. Still never gonna have the chance to actually open this school store. <laughs> hey. Are we I heading to the library? So. I'll tell you everything there. To the library. I bet you won't let me in here. Is that all right? Yeah, it's, yeah, to the library. All right, fine. Don't let me buy shit. I want to spend money. Anyone here? One person in the middle of this area over here. Hi there, Angie. Don't take my blood, Atta. please. You want to? You guys want to pray to Anta? Not really. Time. If you pray, he will come floating down to carry you away in two days' time. When we're all dead. We don't plan on dying in two days. I'm gonna get yeah. everyone out of here. There might be something we can do. All the more what? reason to pray. What? Is watching over us. He'll watch over you both um, while you work hard. I don't feel like me. it at the moment. I'm not donating blood. How divine. Let me know when you want to pray. Bye, Onara. Bye, Onara. All right. Can't rely on a higher power right now. Our only choice is to figure this out ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna go down to the library. At what time would have someone done this to get in here? Oh, I'm gonna wait. I didn't have the chance last time I was in the library to knock over all the books. Actually, I think I did have the chance, I just didn't do it. <laughs> a lot of money in this room, like a classroom. Hey! I'll explain everything. Look at the card reader. Move the bookcase. There it is! Ramble, 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 ramble. I'm the dust is gone. I checked it right after nighttime started yesterday, and the dust was there. But this morning it was gone. So someone's done it overnight. Oh. Someone entered this door during Could nighttime. It be? It got me thinking. This may sound far fetched, but perhaps Monokuma's revival is related to this door somehow. Huh? You mean the machine might be in here to let Monokuma's out? I remember correctly. Remember what the Monocub said? This school has a machine somewhere that can make a whole lot of pops. Activate the machine, you can have as many as you want. Mm. There's a machine that can build spare monocumers. That would explain why we saw monocumer alive and well in the morning. At night time, someone went through this door and activated the machine. And then there's what monocumer just told us. Murder doesn't occur from two days from now. More endless monocumers will kill us. I knew it. The way he phrased it seems peculiar. Why not just say everyone will die? He only said everyone involved in the killing game. He went out of his way to specify that students forced to participate will die. Um, but why? Because someone chose that's to be. True. My deduction is that one of us volunteered to participate and wasn't forced. You're good at this shit, dude. That would mean that they would avoid execution without breaking any rules. Perhaps that's why Monokuma said huh? it that way. And that person is the one in our group who's cooperating that's... with Monokuma? I don't Monokuma is that strict with rules, but if he's trying to protect someone, that would imply that they're doing more than just cooperating with huh? Monokuma. Because I believe that if one of us can create spare Monokumas, they are the mastermind of this killing game. Um. So the person who's responsible for all our suffering is one of uh, us? Okay. Of course. This is just what I've deduced, but it is entirely possible. That's why I didn't want to talk about this in front of everyone. If we told them now, they might all try to find the mastermind and be led to I'm... murder. That's why I could only tell you, Kaede. The mastermind. The one controlling Monokuma. I can't believe the person responsible for our suffering could be among us. It's hard to accept, but if it's true, I can't forgive them. Hey! What are you gonna do now, Shuichi? We're gonna find this mastermind, I'm... right? I'm... 
thinking of taking the risk just before time expires. I believe the mastermind will come here just before time is up and I can expose huh? them. How, you, how do you know they'll come here right before That's... time's up? I'm extrapolating from something Monokuma earl told us earlier. Mauled to shreds by countless Monokumas from the rumored Monokuma making machine. Hmm. To produce a large number of Monokumas, the mastermind would have to come here. The edging is that the machine's even here to make them. I mean, like, you've got, like, what you're basing that on, like, makes sense, but just, you know, still basing it on this, so. Hopefully you're right, dude. They would have to get into the hidden room to activate the machine. Well. Of course, none of this is certain. There's a chance the mastermind won't show. Like I said, it's a risk. But, but I'm willing to take it. It's better than just sitting around waiting to die. Yeah. All right. I'll take that risk but. with you. Ah, uh, but Kaede, this is just my deduction. It's possible that I'm wrong. I know, but I've made up my mind. You told me about this, so that must mean you trust me, right, yeah. Shuichi? <laughs> then I'll trust you too. Aww. You know? I mean, I obviously don't have a good idea of my own, so obviously I'll help with yours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's expose the mastermind together, Shuichi! Thank you. Thank you, Kaede. Thank you. Have a way of encouraging mm. me. I never expected this to happen, though. I can't believe our enemies within our group hiding in plain sight. Okay. Yeah. Now that we know this, I should stop saying everyone needs to work together. All right. Whoever the mastermind is will expose them and help everyone else escape. And when this is all behind us, we're going to stay good friends. That's a promise, okay? Okay. Right. Well, we have a plan. We have our plan. After we reapplied the dust to the card reader, I left Shuichi and returned to my room. So we're just going to wait two days and hope no one kills someone in that two days? Two days from now, at the stroke of night time, that's when the time limit expires. Until then, I'll check on the others. I'm a little worried about them. Free time! I for kind of forgot that was a thing in this game. Well, at the academy, you'll have free time every now and then. During free time, you can spend time with other students to strengthen your bonds with them. You can also give them a present to strengthen those bonds further. You can buy presents at the school store! Yay! If you won't get strong enough, an intimate event might occur. Nice! But you don't have free time forever. Spending time with someone passes time. You can also end free time by going straight to bed. By yourself, that is. I mean, I wouldn't skip it. But if you'd rather be alone, that's cool too. If you don't care about learning about the characters, you can skip it. You're not forced to do it. But I'll do it, because learning about characters. Yeah. Well, first thing is first, because we need to give gifts to people to hang out with them during free time. I'm gonna go just buy a fuckload of gifts! Yeah. And talking to people now will initiate free time, so we're not gonna do that right now. But Karumi is there, so I don't remember she's there for those. Yeah, that's why we'll be her. She's the best person so far. Who we got over here? No. <laughs> Sorry, but you'll be someone who's... Is there an island mode or a school mode in this game after you beat the game? So I can get everyone's? Because I'll wait till then for you. <laughs> Alright, who we got over here? Just so I know where everyone is. Still can't remember your name. Shur I can remember the Shiragane part. I can't remember your first name. Um, so. Spend time with you to learn your name, but. They're <laughs> gonna be spread over the entire school, so funny. Okay. Hide giraffes, I guess. SSS. So what have we got? We just got the one? Just that, okay. The dust particles that come off this machine are way bigger than the machine itself. Alright, mono, mono mono machine! Spend all the coins you've got! Repeat- oh, so yeah, it's like the- yeah. That was the repeat rate and the other thing wasn't there. Boom! Hands mirror, alright. So, um... Jelly balls! Lucky chance! Got another one! Hell yeah! Fashionable glasses! Yeah! Boom! Weathercock of Barcelos! Alright then. What hell of a name. Monkey's Ball! They're gonna be here for a while. Lucky chance! Helping Yachi! I should probably cut this out. This is gonna take forever to go through all of these. Marigold seats! Lucky chance! So much lucky chance, damn. Milk puzzle! Alright, I'm gonna cut, because this is gonna take forever to do all of this, so 
So I'll cut back to what- Cause I'm just gonna spend all the coins now so I have a shitload Cause I'm a fucking crazy person So I'll cut back in a second Okay, so I've spent like a shitload I've kept 40 just cause I'm too lazy to continue to pass this I've already spent a shitload Um, so I had a look through this list Um Couple things I mentioned Um There was one So this thing There's a description on a lot of these Like this where it's Oh, like chic autumn colored scarf that can be used by men, women, and robots. And like if we go down to that one here, can also be used to clean robots. And then there's um, well there was something. Where was it? Um, there's this one for mages. There's this one. Moon buggy talks about the burning passion of astronauts. And this an astronaut puzzle. Um. Some of the descriptions seem to make it very clear. Give it to this person. And I'm wondering if they're traps or not. Um, couple things. References on a couple of them. Um, uh, most of these are just your basic food things. There might be references, but I'm not sure. That just looks like um, Jojo. There's um, this Photoshop software. Straight up the word Photoshop. And turning a plain freckled face into something flashy, which I'm wondering if that's uh, meant to be a Mahiru reference. There's this Splatine Vogue, a teen magazine featuring many models just enjoying their summer. This magazine is meant for kids, not squids. So Splatoon references are a thing. There's also a couple very interesting ones, like the nail brush, the thing that we were meant to get from the demo that we didn't get because Region and I got fucked by it. It also mentions, you can give it away, but something good might happen if you keep it. So I, I believe this is, I'm, from memory, I'm pretty sure this is the item that we were meant to get from the demo that unlocks an extra scene. Like in the previous games, where having certain items unlocks extra scenes. So I think that's what this is. So, yay, we have that. We also, in that vein, got this, the Everywhere Parasol. Where it says you can give it away, but something like good, something good might happen if you keep it. Keep it, pardon me. And then we also got these three: gun of man's passion, embracing it to feel a man's fantasy. So this will be the one we'll, that we use where we can see like the women in this game in a state of undress or with the latex towels sticking into their ass. That one is weird. Then there's this one: pure white sword kills people can keep it, um, you can give it away, or something good might happen if you keep it. And then a dark belt. You can gi give it away, but something good might happen if you keep it. So we've got like five of these extra scenes, it seems, based on that description. So that's dope. Um, so, we're just gonna go to... Can't remember her name. Shiragane. We're gonna go to Shiragane, and, uh, cause she was talking about nails, so I'm curious if she will activate the scene if we go talk to her. Sup? Sup? I thought about it a lot, but the only answer I came up with is that nothing can be done. Okay, no. Actually, it's usually during certain moments where it's like, if you have the item, like, during certain dialogue that triggers that, isn't it? Something like that, okay. Yeah, so where are people to talk to then? Who do I even want to talk to? There's a bunch of interesting characters, but who do I want to talk to? Does the map show where everyone is? Uh, find specific locations. Okay, so we've got... Yes, you're, you're marked there. Well, uh, uh, okay, well, 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 okay. We've got those places there. Kaito's in the kitchen. Shuichi's in there. Um, Marky's over here. Well, that's handy because Marky and Kaito are two of the people I'd like to talk to. There's a bunch of people I'd like to talk to. Change tab. Is that change floor? How do I change floor? Oh, there's floor. Okay, we've got these two hanging out together. Not surprised. Well, I'm not surprised that Tanko's hanging out with her. We've got Tennis Dude and Lysander off here. Can we go into the piano slab? Yeah, I should really check that. Uh, and then there's a bunch of people outside. Just a shitload out there. And then... What's that? That's oh, Kibo. I was wondering who that was. And then you've got you there. Alright, okay. So people that I'm interested in talking to. Kaito, Maki, um, 2B, Kibo, and Rantaro, probably. But who, who do I go for first? Out of everyone, who do I go for first? And Shuichi, then. 
Who do I start with? I start with two B is what I do. Change tab! Ah, oh, this lets us know where people are. Okay. And I can teleport straight to them. Alright, cool. Teleporting to 2B, which it's not letting me do. Okay, we'll teleport to her. So I can walk to where 2B is, but she's in the rooms. Alright, onwards we go. Whee! Yeah. <laughs> Quick dash. Hey, 2B. What's up? How are you? Hello. That is correct. Government certified ultimates now find themselves forced to murder one another. Perhaps this is an act of terrorism. Yes, let us please spend time with Kurumi. I press up and it works in no, that is weird. That is correct. But I cannot imagine Monokuma having any sort of political agenda. I may be brooding on this more than necessary. I could calm myself. Let's hang out. Yeah. I spent some time uh, taking a walk in the courtyard with 2B. Kurumi. <laughs> Kurumi and I glue her a little closer today. Yes, let's give her a gift. I don't know what she would like. She doesn't like anything. She just wants to help serve other people. I don't know which of these would help her serve other people. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. There's a bunch of things here. Like she just likes helping people, so... I don't know. I have difficulty deciding this one. What would she like? I can't tell. Would you like some oolong tea? Understood. You wish to uh, give me this, correct? I understand. I will treasure it. I do not want you to misunderstand. But I am grateful that you have chosen a gift just for me. Did she not like it? I couldn't. Uh, that dialogue's a bit hard to tell. Damn it! Oh. <laughs> I still have some time before it's night time. I don't just want to sit around and do nothing. More free time. Let's go. All right. I'm gonna punch more things while I'm here. Gotta get those coins to buy more things to give to more people. All right. Shall I hang out with her again? Give her another gift and see if we get something. Yes. Yes is the answer. Oh. Okay. People have now moved. Uh, where is she? She is outside. All right. Not too far away. That's easy enough. Outside we go. I chose her and I'm going to go with her until it, it works. And anything I miss, then hopefully this game has a school mode. Wait. It's just you here. Did not the map say that you were out here? Oh, you're down the other area. Okay, you're down further. Don't mind me. You're down here. Should check if... The piano lab is working. You over here? Hello! Look at more robots over here. Have we even been here? What is this? Ultimate Inventor Lab. Okay. Huh. I don't think I've actually ever been in there. Have I been in here? I think so. The robots are just at work <laughs> so often. Can we go into here? No. Okay. I'm assuming Mew knows about this place. Fuck, this is bigger than the piano area. Oh my god. Bullshit. What's up? What's up, Tubi? Let's hang out again. I will grant your wish. If you're unsatisfied with anything, please let me know. I'll serve you as best as I can. Yes. Let's spend time that with is Gurumi. Fine. Is it recreation you seek? Understood. I'll do everything in my power to keep you entertained. I want to learn about you, though. You seem cool and intelligent. I spent a little time being entertained by Kurumi. I'm a little tired. <laughs> Yeah, we grew a little closer. Would you like to give her a present? Definitely. I don't know what she would like. I don't know. Something that would help her help other people, or actually something that would just be for herself. I cleaning! You like cleaning? Mm -hmm. I, I never told you I needed this, but is it truly alright for me to have Thank this? You. It'll help me immensely. If I use this, I can help everyone else as well. How can I help you? Yay! Kaede, is there anything you wish for me to do? Huh? Not at the moment. Yeah. Then why are you speaking to me? Um. Why? That's right, Kurumi's a maid. So she probably uh, thinks I want her to do something Sorry. for me. Sorry, Kurumi, for giving you the wrong idea. 
I just wanted to have a chat with you. You know, without any of that ultimate mate stuff. Mm -hmm. Have a chat with me? Of course, I do not mind such requests. It's not a request, but more like... I want to make this more complicated. Right. To be quite frank, I wish to speak to you as well, Kaede. Oh, hmm. a desire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unexpected, is yeah. it? We don't have much in common. Oh, but I'm happy to talk anyway. Ask me Thank anything. You. Thank you. I have prepared some questions I would like you to answer. Maybe. Prepared a lot. These questions all concern food. Oh, you just want to know what food I like. Okay. Do you have any food allergies I should be no. aware of? Don't have any. Any specific foods that you detest? Mm. Can't think of any foods that I really like or really hate. That is incredibly uninteresting, Kaido. I see. Most impressive. I should move on to my next question. Do you have a preference for certain bedding materials? Um, bedding yes. materials. Do you prefer down, buckwheat, memory foam, or cotton pillows? Do we have all of those? Mm. The pillow I have right now is good enough. Uh, uh, pillows are important. Are you doing research? What are you planning? Are you doing research? Hey, my apologies. <laughs> are my questions causing you discomfort? No. I, didn't, I, I did say you could ask me anything, that but... I should have been forthright with my intentions. May I? Your comfort matters very much to me, Kaede. Hence my questions. With the information you have provided, I can provide you with greater service. <laughs> huh? You'll do all that for me? Yes. Not just for you, but for everyone else as well. Once we are finished here, I intend to present these questions to the others. That's why she wanted to talk I to am me. a maid after all. If you are not content for any reason, please call me and I shall fulfill any request. Yeah. Thanks. She loves to take care of people. She has little, like, uh, actual personality outside of that. I mean, she's intelligent. And she has... I, does she have her own desires or not? I can't even fucking tell. But she is intelligent. That's definitely a thing. After parting ways with Karumi, I return to my room. Like, I feel like... Because I want to know about what she likes and everything like that. Like, I want to know about that. But I feel like you'd have to actually get to the end of... Being friends with her to find that out. <laughs> then... Done. They're having a party and someone's getting drunk on honey. So, Monarchid has had a little too much honey. He was happy about Daddy's return. Let's be dead! Monarchid could be the dead bird! Let's go. Let's go balling! Monarchid! Monarchid! My cousin! Sorry. Monarchid could be the ball. Yeah, but. Which announcement were we making? A nighttime announcement. Hmm? Already that late? Then we should go to bed soon. Bedtime or sign. Bye, I guess. <sighs> Already night time. At this rate, the time will expire before we know it. But I won't lose. I won't give up. Because I want to see everyone smiles just a little longer. I want to spend time with them, laughing and talking like normal teenagers. So I won't give up. Yeah. Shall never surrender. Hey, a new one! So these are pictures... This is directly related to the earlier ones. Because that is Celeste about to burn. And those mugs... The glasses there are the things that... I can't remember whether it was both Toko and Hagakura who used that to try and kill Sakura. But that is what that is. The rest of it I'm not quite sure. I'll teach you guys how to win over a lady. You gotta give her a present. Ladies can't resist presents. Like, I just did this as a bit. You can't give her any present. It's gotta be a present suited to her taste. And it's gotta be a handmade present too. So it looks like you put thought into it. The kind of lady who's in the strongman would love a handmade pro wrestling group. What? She'll love being surrounded by macho dudes and you'll make money off the wrestlers too. If enough wrestlers get popular, you might be hosting a big event. And after they're done beating each other up, you can buy other pro wrestling groups. Just give it a shot and I'm positive you'll win her hard. Become a sports entertainment mogul. That's how, you, that's how you get the ladies. Advice to you from your local nice sign. like psychopathic bear. <laughs> I was trying to do it in the mono voice, the mono kiss voice, and it didn't work, and then it probably just sounded incredibly gross and disgusting, and I apologize to everyone for subjecting me to that. This is an announcement! My, my voice is not close for any of them, except for Monica. It is now 8 a.m. Let's have a wonderful killing school semester today. <sighs> Monica really drank too much honey. How long is he gonna keep sleeping? Ah. 
Father's time limit expires at 10 p.m. tomorrow night. So long, farewell. Off way to send goodbye. Off bed to good bed. No. Time limit ends tomorrow night. Shuichi is gambling on that, which means we have to watch the library while time is running out. Shouldn't we start preparing then? I'm getting worried. Uh. Shuichi, perfect timing. Ah, fuck everything in this room. Give me my one or two coins from it. Fuck y'all. Sup, door. Uh. Shuichi, I wanted to ask you something. Oh. On the scene. Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> it hurts my heart to be screamed at by a young girl. It hurts so good all the same. Calm down. Uh, what do you want? Hey, um... Figured if I'd come let you know that some of the research labs are open. Oh yeah, I didn't huh? think about that. The ultimate research labs? Those classrooms tailored to our 16 talents? Yeah. Uh-huh. Your lab is finally all set up, so you can go in whenever you want. <gasps> Thrills, chills, go to the ultimate pianist lab right away and compose a murderous melody. What does that even mean, dude? And another are you gonna invite me inside for tea or what? Uh, no. Go away. Bye. I <laughs> slammed it in his face. Aww. That was annoying. Jeez. Watch it be Shuichi and we start yelling. Jeez. You're bothering me. Oh. I sorry. <laughs> of course. Uh. I just just ignore what I said. Um. I wanted to talk to you too, Shuichi. I was wondering if we needed anything for the plan. Uh, um. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I might know how to keep watch on the library. Huh? Are we planning on hiding inside the library and keeping watch from there? Hmm. If we did that, we risk the mastermind running into us. It's safer to watch from further away. Hmm. We also need hard evidence to convince everyone of the mastermind's identity. So that's why I thought it might be a good idea to set up some um. cameras. Hey, okay. nice. Had some cameras and security sensors in the warehouse. With some modification, we could combine the two and have, the ca have, have cameras that will detect movement and take pictures. If we set up a few in the library, we can capture proof of the masterminds. Oh, pardon me. And we don't have to be in the library for this to work, so we're less likely to I get see. caught. Damn, dude. That's... Oh. Okay, that's not great. Oh. Okay. Let's bring in another person on this plan. I don't know if we can trust Mew with our plan. I feel like she might be someone who starts screaming at everyone else. Just being like, Hey, this dickless virgin or something thinks that there's a mastermind and it's one of you all. So... Own it the fuck up and admit it before sex things happen to you or something. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. That's but, true. But she's pretty intimidating, so I'm having trouble talking to her by myself. Friend. We should go uh, ask her together. Um, I saw you heading to the dining hall. I think she'll still be there. Is that alright? But we should be careful about what we tell her. She might be it. Masterminds, yeah. Yeah. That's what you think. I mean, it would. I mean, like. I'm not suspecting her, because at the moment, like, the person who has the most suspicion is you, because you found the door. But! Uh, um... If she is the ultimate inventor, she may have made all this shit, so. Sorry. No. I'm asking. I, I, I asked. I, I said I would do it, and I'll do it. Don't feel bad about it, buddy. It fine. It fine. It fine. It fine. Yeah. Oh my good goodness. That was way louder than I expected this thing. Through the door! But the piano slab. Let's go play piano, though. There's, oh, people are in. I'm gonna talk to people. This isn't this isn't free time. So this is actually just different dialogue. Uh, Morning, oh. Grandma. <laughs> you and Shuichi too, huh? You guys are always together. Huh? Not always together. Well, not always. But I feel like whenever I see one of you, the other's <laughs> nearby. Is that right? Sheesh. Not a bad thing. You can't protect yourself when you're alone. Be careful. I thought something would happen at night when it's easiest to get someone alone. But everyone's safe and nothing all that bad has happened. Jeez. Of course, no one would do that. I said it before, but if you really want to live through a situation like this, grumbling oh. won't help. Sheesh. I understand you want to believe in everyone, but idealistic thoughts like that won't save anyone. You might end up losing what you tried to save. Huh? I speak about this with experience from someone who killed a bunch of no. people. I've talked too much. More importantly. You guys have me a little bit of time left to think. That's the situation. The best thing to do is to live life with confidence. Jeez. That's all I can say. I think you still have the chain on your leg. Alright, we got over here. Hey, Keebs! You probably still don't like being called Keebs. I should probably just call you Keebo. Hey, yeah. Keebo! The timing's impeccable. I have something I wish to ask huh? you, though. What's up? Well, then. 
It looks like Shuichi is just standing like halfway down there and it's like, what's up, Kibo? What are your thoughts on this door? No matter how hard I try, it will not open. Um, Doesn't seem like an exit. Right. What do you think is on the other side of this wall? Hey, hey! God damn it. I wasn't even talking to you when you showed up. Huh? Ugh. Hmm. Fukichi! <laughs> I want to see you fly! That no He's designed to be a robot that is meant to be as like a normal person as possible. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Have... Oh my god. Fukichi, go away! Please stop! Right? If you had a jetpack, you gotta float over the wall and call for help! Oh man... Fuck you. Um... Kibo? Unfortunately... Just let it be. I don't like sign. I don't like sci-fi functions like flight. Aren't you already pretty sci-fi? <laughs> You're a fucking robot, but... I appreciate that if I talk to the robot, I have to talk to Kikichi. That's just how it will work. Hey. Good morning. Yeah. Morning, Rantaro. Oh. Morning, Rantaro. Ah, uh, actually, may I ask you What's a question? Wrong? What's up? Being questioned by the ultimate detective is making me kind of nervous. Uh, um... Well, it's, it's nothing bad. <laughs> I know, I'm just dazing. What's up, Shuichi? Hey. I wanted to know what you meant by the ultimate hunt. That's right. Yeah. Second time we heard it was when you mentioned it. <laughs> I just told you it's nothing. Just forget about it. It's clearly not nothing, dude. But... No. Look, I told you before. I was just a little confused. Not being able to remember my own talent is stressing me out. Never mind. Really, I would appreciate if you didn't ask me about it anymore. Sorry. I understand. Sorry if it seems like I was interrogating you. No, no. Sorry that I'm not much help. Well then, I'll see you later. All right, Rentaro, you continue being mysterious. Shuichi. You think Rentaro is really just Could confused? I don't know, but he certainly doesn't want to talk about it. We shouldn't ask I him see. any more questions. We should be focusing on exposing the masterminds. Yeah. Bye. This fear. All right, to the pianist lab. Because funk the dining hall. Piano. We're gonna play piano. We're gonna hear the. What is it? Prelude? Prelude is on the song Anyone here? Well, one person there and one person up the stairs. Oh, hi, Lysandra. What's up? Uh. Oh. What's up? Kaede, Shuichi. Have you come for breakfast? If so, Kurumi said she would make anything that you ask. So why not just do that? I feel bad if I made her serve me. I, see. Yes. I had the same thought, so I declined. But it seemed to only make her more restless. If left on her own, I'm guessing she would prepare enough food for everyone regardless. She really likes taking care of people. Oh, something you can describe in such simple language. The notion to her duties is, uh, as a maid is extremely impressive. Despite knowing her end may come tomorrow, she does not so much as flinch. This... Okay. 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 There it is. There's the fucking anime villain. You keep saying bear witness to the beauty of humanity or fucking whatever. <laughs> like that! You do the... Um. Yeah, okay. 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 Hey! I'm the... But I want to play piano! <laughs> Damn it. Hi, Maki. What's up? Uh. <sighs> Morning. Sure. Why Heading to the that? dining hall? You guys better brace yourselves then. Why? What's <sighs> happening in there? Because Mew's there. Huh? <laughs> I don't understand. She's always weird, but this morning she's been even weirder than usual. Oh, God. She's been pretty excited to tinker with her machines. Okay. Okay. I see. Mew's lab's open too. Monokuma told me this morning that mine was open. Let's go play piano. And my stool did not at all just stab me with fucking like splintering wood coming off of it at all. Not at all. It's fine. It's fine. The splint, I've taken it out, so it's fine. Mm. And what about fine. you? No, not yet. I suppose only Mew and Kaede's labs have been prepared. Is that so? I see. Bye. Where are the uh, other ones even? Um... And like Mark, he was in a bad mood. I think Mew was bragging to about her life being open. I don't think she'd bother Marky since she seems so yeah. level headed. I guess she heard something that she really did not want to hear. What are we walking into? And we're gonna ask her for a favor? Oh, I feel good. It's alright, just sleep with her and I'm sure she'll do anything. Shuichi. I mean don't do that, because no. But she's the only one here. Mew is sitting down, holding her usual haul, looking like her usual haughty self. Seems like she's alone. Hi, Mew. Can you not call me a bitch in the first sentence? Yeah. 
pretty sure Kaidi's boobs are bigger than yours, Mir. I'll just pretend I didn't hear that. I have a small a a favor to ask of you, Mir, right? You're Sweet right. Chief, there's something we want you to make. We found cameras and security sensors in the warehouse, and do you think you can make cameras that detect movement and take pictures? Pardon me for the sneeze, and she's definitely gonna think this is a sex thing. As in, it would automatically take a picture if the motion sensor detects something? Huh? What are you gonna use that uh, for? Um... To keep Monokuma under surveillance. We might learn important information. I'm just noticing there's dining hall rules that say clean up after yourself, which is probably bothering to be a lot. Yeah. Exactly that. Please, me. we need your help to get everyone out of oh, here. I see. It's for sex. Bitch. My answer is no. And there's the bitch. Huh? Why? No. You guys got all of asking me for a favor. What do you <laughs> mean? What do you? What do? What? What? What is the issue, Mir? What is the issue? Fuck all y'all. I'll forgive you just this once. Now get out of here before I whip out the bug spray. Game, you've given me a fierce, strong female character who's very comfortable with her sexuality, and you've made me hate her. How have you done this? Game, how have you done this? What the fuck? How did you ruin this? God damn it. <laughs> how did you ruin this? Without thinking, my body moved on its own. Begging? Please, Mew. Wow. Tee! Why are you scared? Mew? I really want to get out of here with everyone. And to do that, I need your help. So... Please, I'm begging you. Kaede. Damn, Kaede. Yeah, <laughs> more begging. I'm begging you too. We could really use your help, Mew. Please, please be nice for like the first time ever. What the hell? Quit bowing to me. No, I won't stop. I'm gonna stay like this until you say you'll do it, Mew. Do it. I'll do it for however long it takes. Unless it's more than two days, in which case we'll be dead, but... Who the hell uses bowing as a threat? <laughs> Kaede, because... yeah. F fine. I'll do it, okay? <laughs> what? Really? Yay! It worked! <laughs> I grasp for you's hand. Mm -hmm. I owe you. Even after we escape, I'll owe you forever and ever and ever. I'm not doing this for you guys. My research lab in the garden just opened up, so I was already thinking about checking it out. Um, so can I have my hand back now? Because this is starting to creep me out. And you're creeping her out. Uh, I was just so happy. Hmm. Are your hands always this claiming? She's wearing gloves. How do you... <gasps> what did I do? Bring me the security sensors and cameras before I change my mind. I'll be waiting in my research lab in the garden. And again, the whole, oh, strong, confident female. Oh, but like, she's actually a crier and like, actually super weak wills and everything. Anime, you can have a strong female character who's just strong and just like, doesn't have to have a weak side or secretly desire to have a weak side or something. <sighs> Mew wobbled out of the dining hall as if she'd been thrown off balance. I'm glad we managed to convince her. Let's go to the warehouse to get the cameras and sensors right away. To the warehouse! To the warehouse! Dun, 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 dun. It's peaceful music. Peaceful, peaceful, happy music. Uh, warehouse! We're literally right across from the kitchen. Whew, exhausting walk. Whew. Boy, are my arms tight. I hope we can find all the things we're looking for. You already said you found them. I know where the cameras and sensors are. I'll go get them. You can wait here. There's a thing right there behind you that says infrared sensor. Bye. Okay. Bam! Knock over everything! Yeah! Boom, boom, boom! It's hard to knock out some of this stuff. Some of it doesn't like to go. Boom, 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 boom! Can't feel any points for this. Okay, what do we got here? Is there anything actually worthwhile looking in here? Or am I just killing time until he comes back? What do we got? There's a wooden box! They look like they're for shop put. I picked up one to see if it was heavy as it looked, and it was. Athletes who have to hurl these things are pretty impressive. Hey, what are you doing? Done already? 
I've got the cameras. I think three should be enough. Huh? Disposable cameras. Will these work? Quick uh, camera. Um. That's all they had, but they but they work. It should be fine. There's also a photo developing solution here, so we won't have to worry about that. Hmm. If you're fine it with them. Will. I was expecting digital ones, but okay. Three cameras should be okay. And there's a security sensor. That looks more high-tech than the actual cam than the cameras. When this sensor picks up movement, it triggers this receiver to make a sound. We should get three of these as well. So you just well, yes, I didn't expect to have security sensors in stock. Do you want me to carry the cameras? I can put them in my backpack. It's the first time you've mentioned that you have one. I only have music sheets and a spare vest, so there's still lots of room inside. Then... Let's go talk to Mew. I took the three disposable cameras from Shuichi. I suddenly stopped. Will these cameras really work? Wow, I'm shocked you are actually having doubts. Even if we take pictures of the mastermind and persuade everyone, what will we do after that? The mastermind can just smirk and order the exiles to attack everyone. Can we really protect everyone with this plan? Will we really be able to escape this place? Hmm. Is something wrong? We need to go before Mew changes her mind. She wish she was already at the door of the warehouse waiting for me. I shoved things I was holding into my backpack and ran after him. Just surprising to see Kaede have any doubts at any point. Then... Let's go to Muse Lab. I saw it in the courtyard. You mean the large building in the garden at the bottom of the stairs? Hmm. Up until now, our research labs have been normal classrooms. Well. That seems alright, doesn't it? I mean, I still haven't even gone to mine. I want to play piano. Piano, not piano. Piano-ness. I'm trying here. Hi, do you want to... Do you have an event thing? What is this happening? Uh, What's up? Good morning! Wait. What you doing? Nothing all that important. Just checking something. Um, checking something? Like... The ancient passport in the hallway that and that object in the courtyard. You mean the three things on the wall? It just plain stands out. Makes you curious, yeah. right? I was a little curious about what that too. This? I never felt satisfied until I've mapped out every tile in a dungeon. It bothers me when there's blank squares on the map, so I walk into every trap at least uh, once. Um, what are you talking about? Sorry. I was talking about games. You walk into traps You're on purpose? Right. It's just the nature of mappers, rather. It's more of a curse. Mm, oh. Actually. That's why I can't leave like stuff like this alone. It'd make me feel just plain awful. I wonder what this thing's even for. Alright, you you go investigate that. I'm 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 gonna leave and go talk to Mew again. And they me talk to me a lot. <laughs> ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Oh hey everyone! Tenko really need to chill. You're coming off very strong. Hey, they say something to her. Angie's trying to brainwash me and Himiko with her Atwa nonsense. Brainwash? I'm just answering Himiko's questions about Atwa. Are you saying Himiko, of all people, believes in Atwa over magic? Both are hard to believe. I don't believe in him. It's just strange to me that Angie isn't afraid of tomorrow's time limit. Yeah! Because Atwa has already welcomed me into his kingdom. Shut up, about Atwa! The gods are gonna get us out huh? of this situation. You don't believe Tenko? The cake. only thing I believe in is in Aikido and other women. See. What about you, Himiko? I'm a mate. I don't need to learn any priest's spells. That is a faith build. That is a very different thing, Angie. You should know that. Because you play Dark Souls? I don't know where this is going. I see, I see. I suppose that's okay for now. Atua is a merciful god. He forgives everyone, even those who do not believe. Oh my god, it's better than Christianity. But, but... And the non-believers always come around eventually after I drain their blood. Okay, maybe not. So divine! Because Atua is always with me. How divine! I don't think we've seen this sprite of you before. This cheering, yeah. Hi. I... I will not be deceived by your words. <gasps> Nor will Himiko what either. Leaving in Atua sounds like too much of a pain. Because everything's difficult. Because I'm a lazy fuck. That's your reason? Aikido. You should believe in Aikido over Atwa. What a pain. That's a pain, sir. Seriously, Tenko, you're coming off very strong. Like, I stand, like I support you and everything. I mean, like, she would not be my choice, but she has the right hair, so I, like, I get it. But, like, I support you, but just, like, like, tone it down a notch. Just, like, a little. Just, like, a little... Because you're pushing her away more than anything at this point. 
Fine, I'll talk to him. How exciting. I pressed R1, I think, for the slap thing. I didn't do the slap thing. I guess that building over there is Muse Lab. I saw Muse run over there earlier. She was all sweaty and had a total creeper smile. Okay. Thanks for the talk, buddy. All right, Mew. What's up? Right after I knocked the door, violently swung open. Trashy skank. You're fucking late. I dare you waste precious seconds of my time. But you do everything sleeping. Looks like she's back to normal. Don't keep my golden brain waiting. Give me what you got. It's just these, but I took out three cameras from my backpack and handed them to you. What was that? Disposable cameras. Mm. Disposable cameras are too difficult to modify for you. Huh? Do you ask bird watchers if they know how to gawk at dumbass birds? Because I can do it, piece mm. of cake. Here are the security oh, sensors. I see. You want me to use these sensors to make the cameras take pictures automatically, right? Uh, um... I was thinking the camera could be triggered by the security sensor. <gasps> Pardon me. As in, if the sensor detects movement, the receiver goes off and the shutter activates. That's how I'd like it to work, if possible. After I heard that, I whispered into Shuichi's um... ear. What are you gonna use that for? That's. I'm gonna set it up on the moving bookcase. Right in front of you, you're just discussing this? Okay. That way we can keep watch from anywhere as long as we have the receiver with us. If someone moves the bookcase, the receiver will let us know, right? And the camera connected to the sensor will take a picture of whoever moved the bookcase. Mm -hmm. I see. You mother Just say fucker, you sworn a bunch already. Uh, what are you two whispering about? Yeah, like right in front of him? Oh. Nothing. Sure. Is that alright? I wrote down the details here. Mm. Two cameras with built-in security sensors that will take photos automatically. And a third camera that will trigger the sensor receiver as it automatically takes a photo. Sure. How soon do you uh, need these? Um, Could you make them by tomorrow morning? Shut up! Of course I can! You can tie me up in tie me up in drip hot wax, I mean I'd still finish in time. Okay, now when you say finish, what do you okay. Also, we get it, you know. <laughs> With that bold declaration, we just slammed the door in our faces. Mm. She just reveals some of her kinks to us. Have you not, like, been listening to most of what she said prior to- Yes, of course she did. Man. Anyway, I think this will do it. We just have to wait for Mew to finish. Um. Also, have you not- She's wearing, like, things that are tying her. How are you surprised she's into bondage? Diet ape, you're a bit too naive. Mm. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. I was just thinking about how amazing you are for coming up with this plan, Shuichi. Huh? What? You know? When I first met you, I didn't think you would be that reliable. That sounds like an insult. <laughs> But look at me now, relying on you like you're Sherlock Holmes uh, or something. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we went our separate ways and returned to our rooms. Kaede Akamatsu's room. The time limit expires at night time tomorrow. Today's my last chance to roam around. I need to make sure I don't forget to do anything important. Free time! With happy music. Yeah! Punchy, punchy, punch, pow! Yeah. Oh my good goodness. I apologize for the hiccups. Just like constantly. Okay, uh. Oh, hey, Tanko. What's up? Um. So, free time. I'm gonna say if. Sorry, I'm so bad for the name. Um. What's the fucking name? Shuragane! Um, I'm gonna see if Shuragane can activate the thing. No, you're just here, okay. So she talked about nails, so I figured it might be a thing. Hey, look! It's Dark Souls Remastered, Jenna. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Uh, comedy. Are you around any. Uh, I should, you know what? I have, I have a map for this, like, exact purpose to be able to check where people are. Alright, uh, anyone here? No, okay. Change tabs. You here? No, okay. No, no. Yes, you are in the library of all places. Alright. To the library! If it activates a special cut, and I want. Did they activate? I'm trying to remember when they activated in previous games. Was it during free time events? Or was it during, like, other dialogue moments? Because I don't even fucking remember. Don't remember anything. So there's a bunch of coins I can get here if I just slam the shit out of everything. You know a thing yet? Um. 
That big wall, what if it's keeping us safe from the Titans? Ah, yes, of course. More anime references. Shiaki, all over again. Or Hifumi. There's always one nerd. There's always one nerd somewhere. Bob, 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 Bob. Of course there's always one nerd. Because I'm playing at bottom tier. Oh, fuck. I Just... Master of comedy. Okay. That's it. That's it. Okay. Uh, who shall we talk to? Let's change our tabs. Uh, we've got a bunch of people. We've done the 2B, so we'll wait uh, a bit before we do another 2B. Um, either Maki or Kaito, honestly. Or Antaro. I'm gonna go with you. I have a bunch of presents that say space shit, so I'm thinking I might be able to get this in one. <laughs> what? I heard that yours and Muse lives were unlocked. I'm sure mine's next. I'm looking forward. Oh! Fucking actually, yeah. The labs are unlocked. Let's go to my lab first. Fuck yeah. It's unlocked. All right. Yay! Fucking almost forgot about this. Thank you for reminding me, Kaito. Yo, let's play some fucking piano. It is a mess. Something in the center of the room caught my eye and I couldn't help but Good shout. Job. Piano! I lifted the cover. Beneath it, a clean row of black and white keys smiled back at me. I haven't touched a piano in a couple days, but it feels like it's been forever since I played. <laughs> I really am the piano freak. You have music, like, all over your body. Of course you are. Just gonna smack everything else out of this room. Bam, 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 bam. Because if we can spend free time just playing the piano, that's a different place. But, that's a piano. Anything in this room other than, okay, CD racks. There's a thing at the back there. Speakers. All right, let's just go through everything while we're here. A bunch of CDs lined up on the shelves, most of them are classical music. The works of minor and major composers from various eras and countries are all here. Yeah. Speakers! It's an audio device. Play CDs. Or you could just play the giant fucking piano that's here! It's been tuned properly, too. I was concerned at first, but someone has clearly been taking good care of it. I really think it's like saying that you'd just like instantly go and play it. But okay. Okay. I guess you can wait. The sky outside. Looks like whatever Monodam was drinking. <laughs> Alright. Hi there, Luminary of the Stars. So, let's hang out. What? Yeah. Let's spend time with Kaito. That's right. It might be like the inside of a spaceship. Maybe it'll be a training facility. Uh, space, space, space. I got a space, 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 space! I spent some time listening to Kaito about training as an astronaut. Yeah. Seriously, just put, finish putting your clothes back on. Uh, Kaito and I grew a little closer. Yes, let us give him a present. I have a bunch of things that say space. I got this that says space. Um, something else that says space. I'd like this thing. Yeah, cosmic blanket. Yeah. But this thing. Astronaut selection exams. Oh. oh, nice! This gives a real bullseye. Your thoughts hit me dead center. Space, space, space. Want to go to space? All right. Since you gave this to me, I'll teach you all about this thing. Hey, so. Hey, Kaede. Will you teach me to play piano? You told me you were gonna teach me. Oh, I'll teach you about the present, I guess. Or teach me about the present. Will you teach me to huh? play piano? Huh? What's the matter? Why are you so surprised? Because I never would have guessed you'd be interested in playing the piano. <gasps> I'm happy if you're interested. I'll definitely teach you. Thanks. That'll be a big help once I go to space. Huh? Playing the piano is going to help you when you go to space? Yeah. Can't let Hatfield just be the only person who makes an entire album of, um, played in space. Of course. What if I made an alien? Sorry. I don't follow. I mean, do aliens even exist? I'm sure if they did, it'd be a world-changing event, That's right? right? We haven't confirmed any, but it's silly to think that humans are alone in this vast huh. universe. Isn't it more exciting to think they're out there somewhere? But how, how are you going to meet them? Like, the distance between things is really huge. So, exciting, huh? Like, I guess. Um, so if there are aliens, do you want to try to, to communicate using the it. piano? Not just piano, any music. Even singing would work. Communicate by singing. He's been watching too much anime. Hey. 
What's with that face? You think it's impossible, don't you? Well, I make the impossible possible because I am coming, a luminary of the stars. I think it's totally possible to communicate with music. After all, there's music in the Voyager Golden record. It is? Um, is come there music on, on it? Man. I mean, I know it's a record, but I can't remember if there was music as well. You've never heard of it? Ah. I guess it was a while ago, so it's not that weird you wouldn't know hey. about it. Were these Voyager Golden records sold in stores back in the day? I mean, it wasn't sold, it was shot up into huh? space. Yeah. It was put on a spacecraft called Voyager. There was a message to any aliens that find it. It had greetings in a bunch of languages, images of landscapes, and also music. I see. Didn't know they did that. Mm. There was another spacecraft called the Pioneer that had a message on a plaque. The Voyager and Pioneer were sent to the ends of the universe, and they're still going. If aliens do find them, they might try to analyze the record and contact I Earth. See. Contact with aliens, huh? Maybe it'll happen it. one day. In the not-too-distant future, in fact, I, Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars, will not be alive to see it because it's really fucking far- like, your lifespan isn't long enough to reach them. Jesus, dude. I'll be the first human to ever come in contact with an alien. Where does he get his confidence from? By believing in the, to someone else that believes in- You're in the gun! But communicating with the aliens by music, that might be possible. I know well that music can transcend words and language to unite hearts as one. And it's the common theory that humans understood music before they understood speech. Because being able to sing doesn't require syntax, whereas language explicitly does. So we probably started singing before we started talking. I'm starting to sound like a hopeless romantic like Kaito. Ha ha ha. The crush growing ever deeper. <laughs> Kaito definitely has a crush on us, oh, definitely. Our spotting ways with Kaito, I return to my room. <laughs> oh my good goodness. Harden the ever loving fuck out of me. Nighttime went so. Oh, okay. We got more. The way that dialogue was, I really thought that'd only be one. But I guess free time usually happens to it at time, I think. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang with the trolley. Ring, ring, ring. With the... I'm trying here. Alright, trying to be entertaining. I know I'm failing miserably. Okay, who we got? Um, and a part of me wants to talk to Tanko too, but I feel like, like talking to her may divulge more than the one aspect of her personality. But talking to her may reveal that is literally the only part of her personality, and it'd be frustrating for that to be the case. Um, Rantaro or Maki? I'm, I'm trying to think of which one of those two. Because uh, they're both the people that we know very little about, because they're both ever so mysterious. Fuck it, Rantaro. You're the more mysterious. Answer. So go to the library. <laughs> Sorry, it's just it's music playing. It's fun. Oh, you got it. Sup! <laughs> Okay, you're just standing next to the bookcase. All right, cool. What's up? The time limit is nighttime tomorrow. I wonder, what should we do? Should I spend time with Rantaro? Yes, let us spend time. No point wasting time thinking about it. Want to take a break with me? <laughs> yeah. I spent some time walking in the courtyard with Rantaro. I like the idea that they go and hang out and walk somewhere else and then come back and then have a conversation. <laughs> Yes, let us give Rendaro a present. I don't know what the fuck you'd like, considering... Well, what the fuck would he like, because, you know... I don't know what he is, or what he likes, or anything. I don't even know his talent. Something really fucking mysterious, probably. Probably something mysterious. What's the most mysterious thing we've got? What about just a... That's for sketches. I was thinking he might like writing stuff down, but... I don't know. You want to do some sweets? Some caramel? Yeah. Oh, for oh, me? Yeah. No, no, it's not that I don't like it. Just the thought man. Okay. 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 Fine then. Be that way. <laughs> I feel like I was better at doing presents before. Oh. <laughs> bang bong. Ding dong. Bang bong. 
someone still hungover? It is up? now 10 p.m. Everyone go to Hooray! fuck sleep. Don't do something violent to start the killing game. You can make it one more night before everyone dies. Yeah, because you wanted everyone to die because it would be more interesting to watch. Yeah, you're hungover as fuck. Right then. <laughs> your bastards. The way your eyes are angled, the way your face is floating. It's a crazy face. What the fuck are you doing? Okay. Seems to be out of it. This is what happens when you drink too much honey? That's what happens when you drink too much honey that you can left with that. Good night, I guess. Last night time ever, huh? <laughs> Won't be our last time ever. Just our last night in this horrible place. Tomorrow night, I'm getting out of this place with yeah. everyone else. We promised we'd all be friends once we got out. Yeah! Monokuma Theater! Alright, we're just doing Godfather now. I hear kids these days don't even say thank you anymore. We say sup, Khan. I blame the parents. They haven't probably taught them the true meaning of thank you. It's very important to express gratitude to someone who's done something for you. I guess I've come for a greeting. Thank you so much. Cheese gun. That, yeah, there we go. It'll make that person feel happy, and they might do something special for you later. In other words, thank you isn't just about conveying gratitude. It also conveys the expectation of a favor in the future. So the more you say thank you, the more you can use the people around you. So always say thank you to people, and make them do lots of stuff for your benefit. Yeah. So how are we going to convince you to do even more stuff for us in the future? Okay, you're vibrating now. You are just... It is now 8 a.m. Wake My up. Heart's racing. The, today's the day with the time limit. Heart is pounding. Even if you end up in hell, at least you can be proud that you didn't do the killing the game. The hell you saying? You're just assuming they're going to hell? <laughs> this is in and you uh, and you 16 are the who to leave and come as the humans. What? Uh oh. Why don't we go over there and drink some more honey, okay? Get so more drunk. Farewell. Yeah, get more drunk, I guess. The time limit was set to expire tonight, but weirdly enough, I was looking forward to it. Even then, I barely slept the whole night. I slapped my cheeks and leapt oh, out right. of bed. Gonna go to- I need to go to Shuichi's room. We're gonna catch that mastermind together. Yeah! Bam! Smack everything! Smack the living- ever-loving ever crap out of everything. You know what? Because we've got this whole plan, I'm just gonna fucking save it now in case we go to walk to the library and someone's already fucking dead. <laughs> We're just gonna do this just in case that before our plan can even start, someone already is dead. So let's just go. Let's just go and save it first, eh? Also, we're getting close to the three hour mark where something's surely gonna happen. Wow, this is taking a long time. All right, uh, where's his room? There it is. So. Ding dong. Huh? I wonder if something's the matter. He might have already gone. Hey! Oh, what's up? Good morning. Geez. You made me nervous. I'm sorry. I was just going to the bathroom. Are you ready then? We have to get cameras from here. Okay. Remember? Yeah. Let us go. To Mew. Mew 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 Mew. Yeah. Hi, hi, Angie. What's up? Yoo-hoo! Have you decided how you want to spend your final moments? Maybe you want to pray to Atma oh, with me? Geez. True, true. But, but... You two get along so well. I was hoping it'd be um it'd rub off on the others in the uh, dining hall. What are you talking about? Atma has spoken in such dire times. Why won't they stop huh? fighting? Ah. Fighting? They're fighting at the dining hall. Atma's really bummed out about it. Shuichi. Can you get the stuff from here? I have to see what's happening. Leave it to me. I'll get the cameras. Let's meet up um, later um, at the classroom by the stairs yeah. to the basement. Classroom by the stairs to the basement. Got okay. it. You said the dining hall, right? Do you mind coming mm -hmm. with me? We'll stop it together. Who's fighting and why? What the hell's going on? Oh, you're here. Yes, I'll talk to you. So, let's hate you even more. Oh? You look super panicked. Are you here to yeah. stop the fighting? If you know about the fight, why aren't you why? stopping? Something fun is gonna happen to break up all the boring huh? tedium. Okay. Because... The time limit ends at 10 p.m. tonight. It's just around the corner. If people feel like they need to take action to survive, who are you to stop them, Kaede? 
This would be way simpler if everyone could just if I could just share Shuichi's anyway. plan with everyone. Who am I to stop you from stopping them? Go stop them, I believe in you. Definitely a lie. That's your whole bit is lies, I get it. Okay, who we got way off in the fucking corner over here? Hi there. Oh, hey, Marky. You're really far away from everyone. What's up? Uh, oh, Marky, did you hear about the fight in the uh, dining hall? Angie told me. Stay uh, out of it. Geez. Can't just stay out of it. Why uh, not? I see. Because it could start the killing no. game? I won't let that no. happen. Right. Then, what are you wasting your time with me for? Get out of here. Alright, okay, Marky. Marky feels like she's getting more and more pissed with us as time goes on. Like significantly more. What was that? Oh, I thought I saw a black sphere and I just saw the tree trunk. So, never mind. Nothing to be too concerned with. Boom! And here we go. Why is everyone fighting? Stop all the fighting, you bastards. Who else? Anyone else in here? Nope, everyone is in the lair of the um, dining hall fighting. Hi, everyone fighting in the dining hall. Why are you fighting in the dining hall? Is Mew in here? It's gonna make sure you get difficulty at the cameras. Cool. Incredibly ominous music starts. Hey. What's oh. going on here? Perfect timing. I really don't know what to do, Katie. Remember, started talking <laughs> crazy. All I was doing was making a suggestion, so that more people can survive, even if it's just one more. Okay, what's going on? Are you asking people to kill you? Oh me, oh my. We're luckier than I thought. Last time I saw them, they looked like they were arguing. What's up, Rentaro? That's a shame. We don't know what to do. Kaede, listen to him. No, I must listen to everyone first. You're not the person saying the weirdest shit here. Perhaps you should hear it as well. Okay. What about you, Tsubi? Either way. I think it'd be best if you heard Ryoma's idea for you. Okay, everyone's just gonna say that. Hi, Ryoma. Um. So that more people can survive? What do you mean Don't by you that? Get it? If time runs out like this, we'll all get an uh, annihilated, you know? The only way to avoid that is to play along with this killing huh? game. Hold on a minute. There it is. Huh? What are you saying? Sheesh. You don't get that either? I'm saying I'll give you guys my life. I don't have a reason to live anymore. Well. So if the rest of you want to live, I'll hand my life over to you. That's wrong. We promised we'd all get out of here together. I'd hoped it'd end that way. That's why I waited so long to bring this up. But we've been but we've just been waiting for the deadline without doing anything to change. In other it. words. There's no more time left for idealism, don't you think? Uh, it's not idealism. Forever. This is the best choice for this situation. Whoever murders me gets to leave without a trial. Everyone else survives the time limit. After that, the person who gets to escape can go for help and rescue everyone else. Well, How about it? You got a better idea? I'd love to hear it. Well, I have an idea, but... Maybe if I share Shuichi's plan with him, Ryoma will change his mind. Actually, Ryoma, there's no need for that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to end this game. You're gonna end... Okay, what? I've made my decision. I've already decided. Huh? You're going to hey. end this game? It's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game. It's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. However, How can you even accomplish such a feat? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't think I could. Yeah. And how will you end it? You understand that the time limit expires tonight, yes? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can't tell you. Actually, if I could, I wouldn't be having so much trouble. Mm -hmm. The hell do you know, dude? Because you seem to know more than everyone else. I'm going to end this game. Just what I said. I'm going to end this game. Get it? Alright, creepy face. Cool. So don't any of you go and do anything unnecessary. Alright? You've still got a ways to go. Put it like that. It seems like I still have a ways got to go. It. I got it. I take back my suggestion. Do what you want. but you guys live or die is up to you. After Yoroma said that, he left That's the dining hall. That Yoroma. I hope I helped calm him down a little. Um. Rentaro, were you serious when you said you knew a way to end this game? Yeah. Not sure. Huh? The hell, dude? How should I put this? Well, even if I did have an idea, I couldn't tell you. Can't risk anyone interfering. Rare time. Then Angie will pray for your strategy's success, Rentaro. Get punished. Okay. Why are you gonna be creepy, Angie? <laughs> <laughs> now that's a threat. Well, I'll do my best to live up to your expectations, hmm? 
Actually. I guess I have to do my best. Uh, All right then. Is it even possible? I expect he only said that to defuse the situation and stop Ryoma. I mean, ending this game? You don't know that. Maybe Rintaro's hidden talent is actually a huge explosion. In the end, only Atwa knows. Ultimate explosion? That's a weird talent. Rintaro's hidden talent. I want to know what it is, but we don't have much time left. I can't worry about that now. I need to do something. I don't have time to worry about things I don't understand. I just need to do what I can. Or else I won't be able to protect everyone. I should go meet up with Shuichi. It's the classroom by the stairs to the basement, right? What do you what do you all think about the situation? Has spoken. All humans will die eventually. I'm not scared because I got Atwa with me. Alright, okay. What about you, Lysandra? I shall observe. Of course. Your beauty as you um as you all accept the end is upon you. Okay. Okay. What about you, Tubi? For everyone. From there, everyone else can decide what should be done. My desire is to fulfill the desires of others, so I shall comply with everyone's final decision. Alright. Have fun. <laughs> Onwards we go! To... I don't know. Rantaro is up to something. We've got plans. Shit's going down. There's people to talk to. Things are happening. Hey, Gonta. Sup. What happened? Something happened! Got to see Rentaro walk by. His face looks scary. Um, About that. Ryoma and Rentaro are going to fight. No can do that! Gonta can stop no. them! You don't need to worry about it. Sorry. It's all good. Gonta, no way he needed most. No. It's okay, Gonta. If Angie hadn't told me, I wouldn't have known about it either. <laughs> okay. That's right. Anyway, 2B, Lysander, Roth, and Angie are all in the dining hall today. How about you eat breakfast oh, with them? Gonta, see. Gonta, also go to dining hall. Yay! Bye, Gonta. Bye. Alright, who we got here? Hi there, Shurigane! Sumugi. I'm never gonna remember that first name. What's up? Morning! So earlier, I saw Shuichi. What? I saw Shuichi come out of Mew's research lab. You don't say. I wonder what he was doing in there so early in the morning. I don't think that anyone, anything happens, but in a life or death situation like this... You expect people to suddenly develop feelings for each other, right? I don't think so. Uh... You're right, now's not the time for that. The time limit's up tonight anyway. <sighs> After going through so much, it's strange, but I feel I've come to accept it. And how should I spend the last day of my life? Bye, I guess. <laughs> Alright, onwards we go to... Where was I going? Did he say? Did he say the library? Do I have? It's here. What did he say to me? I, I completely and utterly forget. Where's Where's Shuichi? Where's Shuichi? Really far away. Really far away. Classroom, but it's stairs by the basement. Thank you. <laughs> so it's here. Okay. Plus for me. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm sorry for the constant thing I've been all the damn time for him. Hey, Shuichi. What's up? Shuichi. Sorry I'm no. late. I just oh. got here too. Did me finish the yes. cameras? She must have been working all night. She was even too tired to make fun of me. Damn, they look fancy and duct taped together. Two cameras that will take a picture where the sensor detects movement. Remember. And this one will take a picture and trigger this receiver. Of course, they're turned off right now, so they aren't taking any pictures. Mm. Since they're disposable cameras, we have to manually wind no. the film, right? You thought of that. She told me the cameras will wind automatically. So once they're set up, they'll take pictures every time the sensor's triggered. Okay. She also modified them so they'll be completely silent to not attract I attention. Well. Nice. It needs to be. These are absolutely essential to our plan. And do these cameras have flashes? What? They still have flashes on them, but I switched them off. They shouldn't right. be a problem. But we need to make sure they don't get turned on by accident and alert, alert the master. Right. I'll be careful. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed, though. You modify them to our specifications. Yeah. I'll tell you a little bit about this classroom before we set up in huh? the library. Is that all right? I think it's a perfect place to keep watch after we set up um, the cameras. Why this that's classroom? That's true. Because we can see anyone who goes down to the basement with the door open a little. Disappear through. Look, you can see the staircase, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. 
We can keep a lookout for anyone who goes down to the basement. And just see what people are up to. Hey! One more reason I chose this specific classroom. The giant monitor that we can watch things through, or... I mean, I'm gonna just grab some coins while I'm here and just smack every little thing in this room. Because classrooms are good for getting coins, because there's so many goddamn things here. Look at all the coins I'm getting! Look at them all! Look at them all! Look at all the coins! Hell yeah! So many coins! Bang, bang, bang! With the trolley! Ring, ring, ring! With the bell! Bang, bang, bang goes my heartbeat! Killing time until I do all this. What's- okay, is so this? Monitor. Blackboard. What else is in this room? Event. Uh, Event. It's connected to the library in the basement. You'll recognize the smell immediately. Mm. Huh? After she's dead, she told me that. I leaned in uh. closer to the vent. It smells like musty old books. Does it lead to the library? Well, it's probably a vent to control the humidity in the library, so we can hear. Them. Remember. We noticed in the basement hallway, it leads here. The sea. I didn't notice it, but I'll take you over. But a vent in a classroom, that's an odd design choice for a school. Everything about uh, the school's odd. Um, this vent is the other reason I chose this specific classroom to keep a watch. This vent is just big enough for someone to be able to fit, so we should watch this carefully uh, too. I don't think I could fit through there. Well, maybe I could, but it'd be tough. Yeah. There's a perfect spot to keep yeah. a lookout. We should set up the cameras now. All right, set our plan into motion. My heart is racing. All right. Oh, meanie. All right. Well, I'm just gonna paranoid say like every fucking five minutes at this point because yeah, paranoid save every five minutes at this point. <gasps> Hiccups at this point. <laughs> save incomplete at this point. What was that about dress up? Oh, the monopad thing. Okay. So I don't think we can change our clothes. But it's just like, oh yeah, we see our character on the side a couple times. Also, I feel weird to be able to change clothes in this game, considering every character is very, um, stylized. So, yeah. Not that. Alright, down we go. Whoa. Okay. To the library we go. Set our plan into motion. Let's take photos. I'm surprised Mew didn't think it was a sex thing. I'm genuinely shocked she did not go, hey. it's sex thing, you want to take photos of you having sex, right? Because I'm, I'm you and I'm sex. Where did you want to place the cameras? Right. Let's aim one link to the receiver at the moving bookcase. If we place the security sensor on the bookcase itself, then when it opens, the receiver will let us know. Mm -hmm. And if we place the camera to face the moving okay. bookcase, the camera should capture the exact moment the mastermind moves the bookcase. Mm. Where are we going to put the other two sensors? Remember. There are two entrances to the library. Front entrance near the stairs, and the rear entrance to the hallway. Let's aim one at each entrance. That side will have pictures of everyone who enters the library. What about over there? Um. Didn't you say a person could fit through that vent that connects to the hey. classroom? Shouldn't we make sure a person could act? Should we make sure a person could actually fit through? That's... I think it'll be fine since we'll be keeping watch in the classroom. But we should investigate it a little more, just in case. But we can't reach that high. I need something to stand on. The ladder! Moving ladder! Yeah! I can probably use the ladder! Yeah! Whoa! Now that I'm up here, this is pretty high. It's kind of scary. Shuichi, stop looking up her skirt. Do you want to switch? Nah, I'm fine. It's all By good. By the way, can you see my... Um, oh! Delicates? Oh, we're straight uh, up again. Sorry. You looked! Sorry, huh? So you did see them. Damn it, Shuichi! <laughs> well, whatever. He can't unsee them. <laughs> Just don't even care. This is the vent. There's a grate covering the vent, so I don't think anyone can go through. I take the grate off. There we go. Oh, the grate came off pretty easily. Oh, well, there we go. Break something, Kaede? Oh, it's... Um, no, I didn't break it. I just took it off. <laughs> I saw this look on his face. He probably thinks I'm a klutz. I pushed the grate into the duct, then lifted my body and so looked inside. Could a person fit in there? Hmm, it would be pretty difficult, but you might be able to crawl through. I can't really get to the vent with all these books in the way, though. There's a lot well, there. We'll be able to see the entrance to the vent in the classroom. So that should be okay, right? Hopefully. Just in case, I'll stack more books around the vent so no one can get through. Alright, okay. 
With, with that, I began to arrange the books around the vents. Going to a lot of effort to make sure no one can go through this vent. After I finished stacking the books, I climbed down the ladder. Are you okay? What's up? Yeah. This will work. This will definitely huh? work. Got it? I think this plan might actually protect everyone. It definitely will. This plan is perfectly composed like Chopin's Ballads. You know? I actually really like complicated contraptions, like Rube Goldberg machines and stuff. So I'm positive this will work. This setup is uh, perfect. Um, you really think of so? Of course. We'll definitely catch the mastermind, and then we'll all escape. All right. So let's hurry up and set up the cameras. Yeah. Yes, so I think it would be a good idea to set the cameras between the books uh. so that... I had an idea while I was on top of the bookcase. What if we place a camera up there? I'm sure the mastermind wouldn't notice right. it. With all the books sat on top of it, I don't know if there's room for the you camera. Know? But I'll test it out while you prepare the sensor on the bookcase. I'll organize the books on top of the bookcase and see if I can make room for a camera. Right. That way we won't waste any time, right? Okay. Sounds like a good idea. All right. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. I climbed up the ladder and looked at the top of the bookcase. Hmm. There's a lot more books up here than expected. Oh. This, it panned out like the smallest little bit. The top of the bookcase is covered end to end with cluttered stacks All of books. Right. This is nothing. As I move the ladder, I reorganize the books bit by bit. Is that picture different? There are too many books. It might be too hard to set up a camera here. I knew it. Thought so. I'm just gonna try a little harder. I know you don't like to admit defeat, but really, it's all right. I continued moving the ladder as I kept reorganizing the books. Stop, <laughs> fuck you! I'm still doing it. What is this? An encyclopedia? That is. You man, you actually tidied the place up a little bit. I flipped open the book. Wait! Is this really time to be reading a book? I get distracted easily when I'm organizing things. After I made that excuse, I rushed to reorganize the heavy books, but um, looks like there are too many books after all. You really, you can't really make space, can you? The easier I can move them to the ground, but that would look suspicious. We have to minimize any risk of the mastermind noticing the cameras. Then I guess I better put the camera between the books, like right? you suggested. Yeah. You look oddly uh, happy. Um, no, I don't. Ha, if we put them on top of the bookcase, the angles won't, wouldn't quite reach. And here I thought it'd be a good idea. Is that alright? So about the places to put the cameras. Oh, we're going for a full diagram. We decided to place the security sensor on top of the moving bookcase, and the camera linked to it will be set up right here. That way, we, it'll capture the moment the mastermind tries moves the bookcase. I'm gonna place the other two cameras near the entrance and exit, right? So. I think here, and this bookcase is good. Alright, so we've got those pointing to those. Then they'll have to pass by, um, pass by here, no matter which door yeah. they use. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Then I'll set up the camera that's connected to the security sensor. I'll set it carefully so the camera has a clear shot when the mastermind moves then... the bookcase. Let me take care of the security sensor on top of the bookcase. And we'll set the cameras near hey. each door. I bought duck yeah. from the warehouse. Hey, we can tie things up and make them more secure. What if people notice us doing shit down here? We've been here for a bit doing this. With that, we got to work. Meticulously place the cameras into the gaps of the bookshelf. We need shelves. to set up the camera carefully so that it's aimed at the moving bookcase. I mean, the camera there looks like it's standing out a hell of a lot. I better use a lot of duct tape so the camera won't fall out of position. These cameras are important, so I gotta do it right. And even the thing on top of the bookcase is just sitting there. Yeah. That okay. should do it. I'm finished too. Hmm. And without, now, no matter which entrance they use, the mastermind will be caught on camera. And if they move the bookcase in front of the hidden door, our sensor will detect that. And signal this receiver. Mm -hmm. And at that moment, the camera attached to the sensor will snap the critical picture. So how do we show it to everyone fast enough to not get killed? <laughs> this should do it, no doubt about it. This plan will probably work. No, not just probably, it'll definitely mm -hmm. work. All right then, the final step. Turn the sensors I on. See. We should turn them on before All we right. leave. There's a 10 second delay as it starts up, so we have yeah. to leave quick. It'll be a waste of film if it took our pictures. Okay, 
press the buttons and run! <laughs> oh my goodness, pardon me. Mm -hmm. Now we wait for the mastermind to show okay. themselves. There's still some time left. Do you want to go no. see anybody? I'd rather focus on the plan, besides. I'm sure everyone else is safe. <laughs> Once we get out of here, I'll have all the time in the world to see. You're right. Let's go to the classroom. To the classroom! So, here's why, like, this door, it, like, to these stairs, to this door, it's like, it's right there. Why not just go through this? Why, why not just go through that door? Also, oh, just while I'm here. Okay, okay. I mean, it's a door that's not marked on the map, but we're not. Upwards we go! Hallway one. Yeah. What was I doing? Anyone here? Classroom! Classroom. I'm in the classroom. You know what I'm doing? Shut up. Is the lighting changed? It's like sunset. Upon entering the classroom, a wave of anxiety suddenly overwhelmed me. My heart felt like it would beat off out of my chest at any moment. Then... Let's keep the door open a little, so we can see anyone going to the uh, basement. Uh, yeah. Um... About the security sensor receiver. Hey! Could you hold on to it, please? I just feel like you'd be better suited for that than me. There's a power switch on it. Make sure you don't turn it off by accident. No. You hold on to it, Suichi. You're the one who came up with this plan, and I trust um. you. Also, Shuichi, you said I'm better than you at something. Why do you say things like that anyway? Huh? You know? I guess it's good that we have some time left, because I wanted to talk to you about uh, that. Um... Talk to me? Oh, before I smash everything in this room! Brum, 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 brum. Yeah! I'm not getting any points from this. Is the game telling me not to do this? I'm not getting... Fine. Fine. Alright. And once again, paranoid safe before we can, before we go further. Paranoid safe. And we're getting to the end of the time limit, so like something's gonna happen one way or another. So just keep saving it before we keep going. All right, I should eat you. You know? It's hard to tell how this is actually all this is actually gonna go. Like, what the fuck's gonna actually happen? It's probably none of my business, but I think you should be more right? confident. Especially since the ultimate, especially since the ultimate initiative, I selected you as the no. ultimate detective. I shouldn't even be the ultimate detective. I'm not even a real detective. Huh? What do you I'm... mean? I didn't even really want to be a detective. My uncle runs a detective business. I would sometimes help out as an apprentice. It was usually just cheating couples, background but... checks. One day I came across a murder case completely by chance. Uh, um... I solved it before the police did. They called me the boy detective. That's when I got scattered by the ultimate initiative, though I only solved one huh? case. Still amazing that you solved the murder case. Most people no. can't do that. I wonder. I wonder if it really, it, it was re really a good thing I solved that case. Also, Kaede, you talk about how Look like most people can't solve a murder. Unfortunately, we're in a game where we're meant to do that. Yeah, he was all gray and everything. He stared at me. Like he hated me more than anything else in the world. Later, I heard that he murdered the victim to get revenge for his family. Oh. The victim was abusive. They drove the culprit's relative to suicide. Jesus. People told me the culprit was right to do what he did. The victim deserved it. But I led the police right to him. Of course he hated me. So even the one case you solved, you have moral conflictions That's about. not true. It's not like you took sides. You uncovered the truth. That's what detectives do, You're right? You're right. I uncovered the truth, which makes it my fault, and I'm still suffering the consequences. I mean, this just comes down to the whole cops thing. Like, just following the book and everything like that still makes you a cop kind of thing, so, you know, all of I'm... That. Ever since that one stupid case, I've been so afraid of uncovering the truth. I'll never forget those eyes, the hatred, the way they stared uh, into me. Um, anyway, that's why I have trouble looking people in the eyes sometimes, and why I have the hat. So that's why he wears that uh, hat. I'm not a real detective, Kaede. What kind of stupid detective is afraid of finding the truth? I noticed Richie's hands were trembling. I gently reached out and held his hands. Aww. Kaede? 
I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. There's a piano upstairs. Hmm, a pretty song to play for you. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. I don't know piano enough to know any of the songs she's mentioning. <laughs> a soothing song that calms your heart, like the moon's reflection on water. Aww. Moon reflection on water is soothing. <laughs> you noticed, huh? Yeah. I'm shaking too. <laughs> but I'd be a mess if you weren't here. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. Aww. With you by my side, I feel like I can stand up to anything. Shuragane was totally right. People do develop feelings for each you other. give me the courage I need to take on the Mastermind. So please, be more confident. I believe <laughs> in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. Now you sound like Kamen. Okay, I'll try. Believe in the me that believes in you. I don't know if I can, but I'll try. Yay! Yep, that's a promise. Yay. <laughs> After letting go of his hand, I quickly yeah, changed the subject. Right. Also, I think you'd look way cooler if you didn't wear that hat. Huh? <laughs> Aww. The hat matches his outfit, though. Huh? I'm serious here. Once we're out of here, I want to show you. I want you to show me what you look like without the hat, okay? What is it with the detectives and having a piece of clothing that represents something about their past that they don't want to take off? <laughs> Aww. I just want to see everyone smile. You know? I love seeing the expressions people make when they're enjoying themselves. That's why I play piano, to see the smiles on everyone's mm -hmm. faces. That's why we need to expose the mastermind and end this dumb killing what? game. So we can smile with everyone else. Yeah. After our serious talk, we talked about this and that to kill some time. We did all we could and prepared for whatever happens next. I was nervous, of course. But all we could do was wait for the moment to arrive, as the time limit drew close, closer and closer. Closer and closer? And then the moment arrived. Could it be? Maybe it's a warning that we need to start killing. The time limit is almost up. Oh, jeez. They need to stop screwing with us. How much suffering do they want oh. from us? Wait, Kaede. I hear people talking in the oh. hallway. I focus my attention on the hallway. I can hear a group of boys and girls talking. I try my best to listen while I peer through the gap of the classroom door. Well, that's not great if everyone's heading downstairs. Fuck! Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, Himiko, and Rantaro, too? The seven continue to walk down the stairs. Um, what's happening? Why? What's a big group like that planning to do? Rantaro was with them, too. Didn't he say he would end this game? Mm. It's almost nighttime, right? And they're all heading to the basement right now. Could the mastermind be with them too? Kaito, Gunta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, Himiko, and Rantaro. One of them is the mastermind? No. It is unusual for such a big group to all go to the it, basement. No. They're not planning on going to the library, are they? That'd be bad. <laughs> They'll scare off the mastermind from using the bookcase huh? and ruin the plan. All right. I'm going to check out the basement. I'll no. come with you. you. You stay and keep watch, Kaede. Shuichi dashed out of the classroom. Why am I all alone now? Realizing I was alone, all the fear and anxiety I was trying to hide rushed oh, back geez. into me. I couldn't keep still, so I grabbed the broom from the corner of the classroom. I started cleaning for no reason at all. I had to move my body. The anxiety was getting to me. Aww. Come back, Shuichi. I continued to distract myself well, uh, with cleaning until Shuichi finally came back. Hmm. Why are you sweeping? Huh? No reason. Anyway, what about the people down in the basement? Uh, okay. Everything is okay. They all went to the game room. Why? Ding dong dong ding! In one hour, everyone dies. <laughs> uh, this is very different to most case one. <laughs> 
There's only one hour until the time limit. It's That's almost true. time. I'm sure that the mastermind will make their move soon. If Monokuma's going to show up when the time runs out, the mastermind will go to the library. Then, it happens so suddenly. Oh! My heart nearly leapt out of my chest as the receiver and Shruti's head suddenly went off. Alright! Shit's kicking off. Someone move the bookcase. Hurry, Kaede! Shuichi sprinted out of the classroom with the determination of a true, ultimate detective. Wait for me! I dropped everything I was holding and ran after Shuichi. I could feel my heart beating faster and faster. I was so nervous, my heart felt like it was pounding with every heartbeat. That music is fucked up. I guess that's the whole point of it, but still. Alright. Alright. Let's go inside. Yeah! Bracing myself to confront the mastermind, I had blowed my hands into fists without realizing it. It'll be fine. Everything will work out. I was still convincing myself when I caught up with Shuichi, who had his hand on the door. What are you guys doing here? Got it. Well, never mind. Your timing's perfect. You should join our strategy right. meeting. Kaede is definitely welcome to join. Huh? Strategy yeah. meeting? When the time limit hits, we're gonna fight Monokuma. We're gonna plan for the battle. We thought it'd be harder for Monokuma to get to the basement, so we're going to the oh. game room. Both of you, come with us. The mastermind yeah. is in the library. You're just immediately okay. saying this now? We'll explain later, but right now, we need you to come with us. We might really be able Are to end serious? this killing game. Sneak attack. I don't really understand, but you just need to uh, meet to Akaido throw whoever's oh, inside, what? right? I'll do it. I'll be the one oh, to take geez. him down. It's not a competition. I'm going to open the door right now, okay? Okay. I have no idea what to brace myself for. With the unveiling of the mastermind so close at hand, all my anxiety had disappeared. I stepped inside the library. Well, that's the... It closing! There was no sign of the mastermind. The moving bookcase had closed on its own without any outside help. Hmm. Where's the mastermind? What is happening? We quickly walked toward the moving bookcase. Not too far from the moving bookcase, we saw. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? The fuck? Rentaro Amami, who had yet to reveal his ultimate talent to the rest of- What the fuck? Fuck! Lay dead on the ground. What the fuck? Uh, 